Alright, looks like we are just about to get started. They have been ordered to reset the lanes and get her started. So I'm going to take a moment to make sure that I have the sound good. Alright, so recording. Actually, sound sounds pretty good. I'm going to turn up my volume a little bit. And turn down the lean volume a tad. A lot of y'all can hear me this time. That was kind of a little messy situation at Southwest last, last go around. I think we're actually going to be pretty good on sound this time. Everything seems like it's pretty good. I might turn up my volume a tad bit more. I think the lanes look good though. Gonna take a second to fine tune some of these settings, make sure everything's good. We've got really good internet here at Parkville, really happy about that. I can stream really high level this time. Right. I think we're good. Or at least if we're on it, I'm gonna claim we are. So we're in the first round of the group stage. We've got five of these games to go. Everyone's going to shift over, I think, a pair. They're going to move over a pair of two pairs. So we'll see a handful of teams this time around. Uh, looks like I can see the score. So these two groups should be POA groups. I think when we get the next group, next groups to move over, we should see some, uh, some scratch bowlers. While they're getting started, I forgot to get myself a drink, so I'm going to take a moment to go get myself a drink, and I will be right back.
It's alright folks, looks like we had the feed dive for a second there, but it's back. It was only a second. Hopefully it won't be a continuous thing. Hey Nick, how's it going? Sorry. Sorry, I stepped away to grab myself a drink. Mark's work. We've got Bucky Poole coming up on 18. I bowled with him all day on Saturday. He didn't have high game in a single one of our high game pools, but managed to make the PLA cut. He beat me by like 40 pins after I completely fell off the wagon in my last game. Let's see what he does on this strike. Oh, almost got that double. Might still get it. Uh, I'm gonna get the focus set back again. Oh, I think it's actually set for autofocus. That's not good. We don't want that. Yeah, we don't want autofocus. Autofocus is bad. That's going to make everyone really confused. At least want to make it in focus so you can read the scores. Come on. Oh, that's perfect. I'm done now. Alright. I'm going to turn off autofocus, so... Yeah, scores look good. Lanes look good. Yeah, I can even read the scores from here. That's nice. Good ball for Josh there. Good shot to bring back this, this ball he had. Looks good. Oh, he's sitting carry the freak thing. Unfortunately. It was a good ball though. Nice shot on 17 there. Wow, what is... Okay, uh, we will... We'll, take that a lot more than what Eddie had there. Eddie had an ugly looking break there. Blaster Campbell on 18. On open for his first two. That was a good looking ball. He was just not good. Or seven. It's too early for me. I usually don't wake up before noon. Lucky to bring it back. <laughs> See what Dave can do. He's on a spare. It's a little light. Eh. Yeah. Nicely gifted that bot then. Leaving just a ten.
He's pretty wide. Ooh. Eight seed. Good pick up the truck. <laughs> Which everyone knows it's your first time you ever hit that pin. I can't blame him. I know. All footballs? No. <coughs> so it seems like the Wi-Fi is really good, but it's going to be, it goes in and out a little bit. That's probably more from my location compared to where the Wi-Fi is. I think, I think it's behind a couple walls. He's on a double after getting the spare in the first frame. So he's loaded up this game so far against Bucky. Get a little light. Ooh, got punished. Still a good count though. Bucky can answer back here. Good call. He also had a little light, but just left seven. Minutes. How's it going? Nah, camera's up there. going against the man who opened Spare Devil. Ooh, ripped up middle. Ugh, I hate, I hate to see that. So good ball. Hit a little heavy. Got a good mix out of it though. Look at a little baby slip there. Oh, 
Ah, both balls. I like the style of the glass there. So much more nicer when you can work both the walls. Just as you planned it, I'm sure. Good ball from Sean. Oh, almost got it. Oh, we did get it. Got a little bit of help in the gutter there. Fills up for a nice 20 back there. To give him a little more work. To give him a little more pinfall against Foster. Ooh, Foster has a good ball too. Pretty ball. Singles everywhere. Seven pin does not want to fall. Good for Foster, but that's fair. Puts him down 11 pins, both on a mark though. Puff could really use it. He's down 24 in this game. Just got it. games here to start. Good shot from Chuck there. Making that shot look easy. Teach me a new way to try to shoot at that. Good shot. Good. 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 
shot up 13 over faster. What is the Mets I am staring at on 19? There's only three pins that fell off the lane. Seven, eight, nine, but it looks like the seven flips forward. That or that's the, you know, that might be the, um, that might be the four pin and it slid left. That's why it looks really, yeah, that's what it is. It's the four pin, but it slid left. That's really ugly. Okay, Ooh, pins are sliding all over the place. Is that the four pin on 19? I think it slid left. I think it was. I think it was. Yep. Good spare for Buck. Might bring him back in the game. Gives him 79 plus a count against 94. Didn't get the left right action. Beautiful ball from Foster. I should put him up. I should put him back in your way, I should say. trying to hold his lead against Bucky who's run Paris Ferris on him after going through over. Ah, he shot both sides of him. It's something I did. Got 10 out of it. That's a good 10. Shoot at that sometimes you get five. <laughs> Fuck you on spare trying to get back some pins against me. Well, that's one way to do it.
Here's the single thing that's back in the game. I think we're waiting on a reset on that. Ah, I knew he missed it. I'll put him down six or seven. And he's finally getting his reset. Worth the wait for that ball. Got some work to do. He's down 23 pins. But well, he's on the board. Hit too heavy, less seven times. One dive out of bed. Good shot through the three pin, I would say, to leave just the ten. Wow, I thought they hit that. Didn't see that they had an eight pin. Was so down a couple pins. He hits us. Yeah, he gets it. So he'll be down two pins on Sean. Well, he's trying to get back seven pins here on this one ball. After missing that spare break last round. He missed a single, I'm assuming this is a strike. Yep, yep. Read the rule book. Was a good ball in response. He's a seven pin now. It's spare to try to maintain his lead. Joshua on a strike closes up that game. Right there.
Let's try from that back. Oh, that I did mute my desktop sound, right? No, I didn't. Yeah, I did that. You should be good that. Okay, you gotta get some weird desktop audio. Let's see what Foster does here. I'll <laughs> push they're in, a, they're in a very close fight there. Good from Foster. Alright, so that puts... Sean up a pin, but down a hit. Oh! Looks like a clean chop from Mike there. And it's just leave the single for the good count. It's a very close match on the bottom of the... 17 and 18. Oh, Mr. Singleton. Let's welcome from Joseph. From 20. I think he's got a decent hold on it. Well, that held. He doesn't, doesn't have it yet, but he's got a good score to go. Soon depending on what Josh gets on this ball. Ooh, I'm going to hurt Bucky because he only strikes. See if he can get a few more pins out of this. Oh no. That looks like he went right through the hole. He got a six out. He's going to need a big finish to come back. And I mean a big finish. Eight out puts him down 11. All right, we're coming down to the last frame here. Good ball seals it here for Chuck. Yeah, gonna be a little, gonna be a little more than that to finish it off. Ooh. Oh, that almost did it. I probably will do it. No, I did it. I got a math better. I shot to come back on 18, but I don't think it's not going to be enough. That'll give Chuck the first game. Ooh, to the middle. 
doesn't look like the game's on 1920 or I've been in these other games. Joshua's got a chance to come back, but he needs to, he needs to pull out a big, big couple, big box there. Oh, did not want to hear that from Foster. He had a chance to put that game away with a good ball there. Instead, now he's only up by one pin. Got him both, so he forced him out. He forces a mark out of Sean. That was actually a pretty big shot. Good ball. Well, is going to roll? Is going to roll? Oh, not enough. Out. Needs it to spin. We want on 19. 20, Davy Jones locked up his first game. Uh, it looked like he pushed it right, but he got it. Shot through the middle and he wins. Even though I hate telling anybody that. But you gotta keep the ball in the lane. That'll do it. Even add a few extra pins. So Sean will take the first game by nine. Ooh, Josh need a big ball that will come back in the middle. Mike Slimmis is spare. Really wants to get this pin because if he misses it, Bucky can mark and get a 20 kill. Right. That forces a double out of Bucky. Looks like Jason locked up. Yeah, Jason locks up against Josh. My initials. Bucky dropped the ball. Put the free printer. That'll give first game over to the high. Kevin might need a double here. He's down 14 pins. He almost certainly needs a double. Really. Fortunately, he has to attempt to spare. Doesn't get it though. Good to see him around him. Sitting back here. Ooh. How's it going, Chris? Got a microphone on? Yep. There you go, good. How did I do? Uh, I lost to CJ Taylor, 156 to 142. Everybody likes Sadako to send up. Just a little. How's it looking then? It's been okay. Stream goes in and out every once in a while, but that's just an actual Wi Fi thing. But it's a really good stream. Uh, good. Bit rate's good, so I got it high quality. Good. Is the microphone just USB? Yeah. I'm gonna get you a, a good microphone, but it's gonna have like a USB connector in the back, so it's just bring the front pass to a USB. Okay. Then you just plug it in and then you get it. I'll show up as a USB code. Alright, great, that'll work. Cool. What's up, Pat? 
Chris Roth, everyone. Trying to get me a new microphone. He would know about good microphones. Alright, that's it for the first game. Looks like everyone's going to move over. I think we're only going to have one pair of lanes here on lane 20. Clean on my desk, I had a bunch of junk on this computer. Looks like they've already started on 15, 16. They'll be over here for game three. Yeah, sure, I'll let Buck know his family's watching. I'll be right back. I'll let him know since we got this little break here. Alright, I let him know. I let the old man know he's so good boss. Alright, so the only ladies will have this game in 1920. And then we'll have some scratch bowlers come in on 17 and 18 next game. But uh, you could spot them. Uh, you can spot them from the camera. You want to tell them anything? Well, you could tell them. Mike's right here. I'm doing my best, Logan. <laughs> All right, let's see who we got up here. We got Foster against Mike. I'm trying to catch some of the others. Austin, Sean, Chuck, and Bucky. Got it. Picked it off. Sure. You Ooh, not a good break there. That, was, that wasn't that bad at all. got a moment here. I'd greatly appreciate if anyone could like and subscribe this video. I hate saying that because it's what all of us do on YouTube. But I greatly appreciate helps uh, helps the algorithm let people find find this video, find this channel. And if I can get up to a thousand subs, I can uh, I can open up the process to get some ad revenue, and that'll hopefully fund getting some better equipment and everything to uh, do this more often.
Scott makes his single pin for his bear. Really not a despair. See if Bucky can respond. Good ball. Ooh, not the break you made. That break was horrible. Here's the 5 7. No problem, Beth. I'm going to try to do all of the Pop Wittens. Um, we'll have to see about Dundalk. Dundalk might be an issue for me personally, being able to make it. And Southwest has some Wi-Fi issues. But all the other houses, I think, should be good. Ooh, what a hit from Bucky. Damn. Worked hard to match that single pin from Chuck. I'm also going to try to be at Green Mount at the end of the month for their uh, monthly event. Still have a little bit of details to work out on whether or not that's going to happen, but it should be good. Ooh, pretty balls for Sean. Makes us two coming. All right, good start here on nineteen twenty. Try to make life buck, you just missed it. That sounded bad. A pair of boxes from Fox there. He had to turn a bad ball this game. A little unlucky, pick the three pinner and then the best split there. Oh. Good night, like evens it up 18 sides. Good ball from Chuck. Solid 20 box. Yeah, we always like 20 boxes here. Hmm? Duck pins, the number four ever. If you're in the uh, Duckling Goat Global Group, there's a link there. Duck pins, the number four ever. How's it going, Richie? <laughs> so, I'm 0 and 1. My opponent had 117, and I lost. That's not good. Yeah, yeah. But hey, it's first game. First game. So here we go. Here we go. It's okay. I needed. I needed probably a 140 my last game to make the cut yesterday, and I shot a 98. Ouch. Yeah, that wasn't fun. Ouch. I feel that. Just had a 95, so yes, Ooh. even Hipkins has a sub 100 game every so often, so yeah. But yeah, I hope I, I hope I can clean up my act by the time I make it down here, but we'll see. <laughs> oh well, no bad Sundays. No, no bad, bad Sundays. Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alright, after that little distraction. Ooh, Sean, double. Just missed that. Really needed that to try to keep some pins. We didn't get too far behind on Sean's stuff. Alright, let's see if some luck can fall Foster's way. Had a rough start these first two frames. One throw and a bad ball. Looks good. Oh, I hit a light and left another split. Oh, wow. Speaking of ugly breaks, 5 7 10 from Mike. Chuck's on strike here. He opens spare strike. Looks good. Yeah, give him a double. Bucks well, got some work to do to get back in this game. Wide right. That's something he can make though. <laughs> well, give me a better camera. <laughs> Ooh. on on a double. Mm, push it right. He's the 189. Hmm? Here, you can take a look. That was a bad drop. We didn't like that drop. And then it dropped again. Come on, you're killing me. So well, thank you for streaming this weekend, sir. No problem. I might have to switch over to wire though, because Wi-Fi drops out like every 15, 20 minutes. Moon is right back there inside that office. Alright. I might do that after this game.
it looks like we're back. Uh, I'll try to see after this game if I can swap to get the wired connection set up. I'm actually going to try and get the stuff up, get the wire connection set up. connected wired everything should be up and stay up but we'll see I might end up if it goes down I'm gonna disconnect the Wi-Fi period I think with that we should be good because I do have internet access via this wire So I'll keep an eye out on it, but I think we're going to be good now. It's connected, I don't know why it's not sending a stroke. connection now, I think we're, we'll be okay. Hopefully, we won't have any more hiccups now that we're on the wire. But, I might end up resetting the stream in between groups so I can, I can do another bandwidth check and I might be able to get a higher quality up. I'm going to just go ahead and up and down because I know it's just going to be better right now. Should be able to handle that on wire. Okay, so now I'm back. I can look back at the games. Looks like Foster. Foster has managed to get a decent lead here. It looks like 57. So he's got 67 in the sixth and on a hit. Wow. Chuck and Bucky. Bucky's down nine. Like Chuck, look at Chuck chop four on his, uh, on his double. Ooh. Good break for Bob. Buck, that was fair. Puts him right back in the game. Chuck Nash, So, Chuck is up nine pins, even on hits. Gone after his double has gone three open. Big ball. That's another strike to add to his total. Andrew on a 
is fair. So he's got 61 in the fifth. So he's down, he was down nine pins, but he was off a hit going into this frame before he got here, right? Ooh, to the three. Tries to bring it back. Just didn't send the head pin over. That Sean is up seven and a hit. Thoughts are coming in, it's on a strike. Gets it out there, good ball. Good ball, give him a double. Yeah, I think after after this game, I'm going to take a quick moment to reset the stream now that I'm on the wired connection and see if I can up the quality even higher. But I'm not sure exactly how high it can go, so I have to test it out. Bucket to come back into the game. So he's got 93 in the second. Buck's got 73 in the sixth, but he's on a spare. Push it wide. Very, very generous break. There's just the four pin. 82 in the six. Next step gives him 92 in the seventh. So he'll be down a pin but up ahead. Pushes it to the right. He's an easy, easy three pinner. Oh, what a horrible break of Sean. That's why that's why he's playing this game. That was a great ball. And you whips right through that three pinner. 83 and a hit in the seventh. Well, Sean will have a 98 in the seventh. So Sean's up 15, but down a hit. What Mike can do. He's had a rough start of frames here in this game. Foster up on 20 here. He's on a double. Trying to extend his lead. Hits light. Really good mix though.
I just missed it. Officer cleans up his spare. That gives him 116 in the eighth and a hit to Mike's 82. Mike's had a lot of work to do. Oh, double. That double encounter was big for Mike. Getting some help for that. Let's see if Bucky can answer back. Oh, ooh, yes, he does. That gives Bucky a 112 and a hit in the eighth against 103 in the hit. So he's bucks up nine pins. Both sides on him. pins and a hit. That's some work to do to come back in there. Foster trying to wrap up this game. He's on a spare. Got 116 in this hit in the eighth. Ooh. I'll give him 118 in the eighth. Still have a good bit. Probably gonna need a double here soon. That wasn't it. Oh, good mix around the roster there. It's a spare, 128 and a hit. Like 92 in the ninth, that's probably not going to be enough. Matched out at 122. Foster already beat got that beat, so Foster's going to take the first game, the second game. I'm going to put both him and Michael one and one if I'm correct. So it goes through the three pin. Probably didn't want to do that. Let's see if he can bring it back, though. Won't matter if he brings it back. Oh. We had a nice game by Brian Vest, 201, nice bowling. Had a 201 game announced here from Brian Vest. Way over on the other side of the bowling alley. Right? Yeah. Alright, 
I'd give Chuck a one seventeen. In the ninth. Do a bucket control on. Pushed it. That's a good lead though. Buck a 130 in the ninth, so he's up 13. Forces a mark out of Chuck. Looks like they just started up on 17-18. Ooh, nice little strike from Andrew there. I'll wait till after game four to... Uh, Reset the stream. It's, it's, it's fine for now, but I do want to make sure if I have higher quality, it comes out that way. How's it going, Chris Ross? Swell. Swell? How's it going? Uh, now that I switched the wired, everything's good. I'm probably going to reset the stream so I can figure out what the bit rate is now that I'm on wire. It's probably a good bit higher, but I'll, I'll wait till they're done on 17, 18. Okay. Cool. Sean hit a spare, so that gives him 120 in a hit against 107 in a hit. So Andrew probably has got another one. Good ball. Awesome. He's already wrapped up this game. It's spare. 147 plus his ball. Probably with that group, 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 there's a link on there. No, it's fair. That, with that frame, Bucky's going to lock up over Chuck.
Rookie finishes out with a 137. going to take uh, this game and they'll move over to the right of pair and we'll go back to covering 17 and 18. Probably take a second to see what the group looks like after this game. Oh, after really this game. Seven pin, Gary. Good ball game. Good to show. Alright, we're gonna see what the standings look like in this group. That's a beautiful, beautiful ball from Luke right there. This is the best ball I've seen all day. So we're in the third game. Probably got about another hour 20 minutes to go in groups. So hopefully we'll be starting up the bracket. 12 30, 12.45. We can move at a brisk pace. We're shooting a two pin here. Just gets it. Yeah. 
gives him 149 up against who this is. Good ball. He's sucking. trying to get some wood here. Ah, only at six. Ooh, six out. Still up seven pins but not a hit. Wayne on a spare here. <coughs> Get the ball. At least five. Spare out. It gives him 58 and a hit in the fourth. Shot at it. Oh, just got too much. Gotta hit that little light. Okay, gives him 48 out, gives him 49. Green is up nine pins and a hit. Planes are not very kind right now. I'd like to point out that over the, the summer singles league, Bruce Smith stole $150 out of my pocket and gave it to James Simon. 
by shooting a triple on me in the tenth at the very last game to beat me by two pins. I enjoyed that. I'll get my revenge one day. Good ball from Bill. Again, not rewarded because these lanes are not very kind right now. 7, 8, 10. Big ball from Steve. That'll give him 61 in the fifth, plus a hit. Up against Bill's 57. Yeah, Rick, these, these lanes not very generous right now. A lot of good hits not being rewarded. Playing on a spare. There's seven on that spare. He's on an 18. Great ball. Get the strike. Clean as it could get. Good clean up and lane. That gives him 75 in the fifth plus a hit against Lucas's, I believe that's 49, so 59 in the fifth plus a hit. See if Bruce can get a break. He's kind of gotten ripped off these past few frames. I'm going to be honest, I thought that was the worst of the balls he's thrown. And he got a strike out of it. Okay, it goes through the middle. Doesn't have enough to it. And, uh, Bruce will have 58 plus a hit. Gary has 51 plus this ball. Steve on a strike. Throws a bomb. It's just a 10 pin. Apparently heavy's where you gotta hit. That was not true for me yesterday. But heavy hits look real good right now. Look at the strike on it. Wayne on a spare. Give himself something to shoot at there. Eight count gives him 82. 83? 82? Three. <laughs> I thought it was 83.
Scoop is going to throw first on 17. He's on strike. He's trying to keep pace with Lane. He's on a tear right now. Bone like me and Mount Aaron. Head pin's meaningless. Just hit the spare brakes anyway. This leaves just a 7 pin. Almost slid that 5 pin over and left it standing. That would have made me angry. Gary hits too heavy. Rips the middle. Gives him 79. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a lot of traffic over there. Anyway, that gives Luke his 79 in the six, plus a hit against Wayne's 93. In the so Lucas still got some work to do. on strike, going on 17. Ah, rip the middle. Seventy-one up against Gary, sixty-one. Still on a strike. He's five-seven. Yeah, clean pocket hits don't don't seem to be particularly good right now. Gonna have to hit a little heavier, on seventeen, eighteen, to get, to get the pins to fall. Big ball from Steve. He's just a tempo. Keep going. Get some pins back in this. Oh. Looks like he held on to it too long. Steve gets his spare. That gives Steve 90 and a hit against 85. <laughs> up on a spare. Trying to catch up with Wayne. He's kind of running away hitting all these spares. Good ball. Too heavy. Back through the hole. He does all get spare. Actually hit the pocket this time and was rewarded for a strike. Really good game here from Wayne. That gives Wayne 113 in the seventh and all the hit to Lucas's 91. Gonna go first on 17. Looks good. Oh, did not get that. That six pin fall. That spinning pin looked like it was gonna take it. Good ball. Get the strike. Yeah, that leaves Gary with some work to do this game. Bruce has 81 in a hit. And Gary will have 70 plus this ball. Uh, 
Sunday one. Down 10 and a hit. Steve on a spare trying to extend his lead here. Good ball. Leaves just the 10 pin. It'll look a little heavy, but gets a strike out of it. And he comes back saying strike or nothing, and it's four strikes. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Steve hits his spare. That gives him 109 plus a hit against 95 in a hit. Trying to keep up with Wayne. Wayne's kind of running away this game. A lot of good, a lot of marks from Wayne here. He's throwing a really good second ball. Big ball from Lucas. He's just a seven pin. Seven pin on both sides. Oh, 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 just tipped it over. 101 plus a hit. Ooh, actually missed it. Do a reset and shoot at him. Yeah, we got it. That gives me 132 in the A against 101 and a hit. Moves up on 17 is on a strike. Oh, rips through the three pin. It was a little wide right. Give something makeable though. Uh oh, okay. From my angle, that looked like it was going further left. It's a good count out of it. Are we running it? Yep. Gets it off the wall. Generous sideboard. Right that gives Gary 81 and a hit against 99. Bill on a strike. As you said, he is strike or nothing. See if he can get the double. Looks good. Leaves a five pin. Big ball. Kills in a 20 box. That gives him 129 and a hit in the ninth. Bill, still striker or nothing. This is that single thing. Knows that one's gonna hurt. 114 in the ninth. Good ball from Steve clears out that game. Lucas on a spare. Really needs to get something going to catch back up to Wayne. That is good. Back. 
No, you're gonna go through the other side. Ooh, good try there from Wayne. Somehow managed to actually hit the left side of that pin and not carry through on to the other three. Ten to Lucas gives him 13 to Wayne's 42. So while not entirely over, Wayne's pretty much locked up his game. Just needs to keep his first ball in the lane and he locks it up. Little light and got punished for it too. Opens the door for Gary to come back into the game. You can get a mark this frame. There's a good looking ball. Leaves the fork in. Make a shot at it. Big shot from Bruce. Forcing this hit from Gary. Gary gets it to keep pace. So that gives Gary a hundred and a hit against Bruce's 109 and a hit. Steve trying to finish this game out. Ooh, hold on. Came all balanced, you can tell. He knows it too. Still on a strike, so see if you can get a good count out of it. Bill, wide right. I should lock up the game for Steve. Yep, that locks it up. Those Bill can get 34. Uh, 34. Good ball. One forty five for Steve, he takes that game. That puts him, I believe, at two and one. So finishing out. It's an eight count for a thirty two. Some of these balls back. Had one fall down the rack. Wayne trying to finish up a good game here. Ooh. Seven times. Had kind of a rough game on a few breaks. Well, he finishes out with a 152 game. I'll show the viewers that the cameras make me look fat. I'll show them the Well, if people don't want to look fat on my camera, they need to get me a better camera. 
The only one that I'll look in your camera is if you use some, some of that uh, Instagram remodeling stuff. Yeah, Wayne took, Wayne took the game over Lucas, Gary and Bruce finishing out, Bruce throws a big ball here, yeah, looks like a single pin on both sides, Gary's going to have to make this, Gary hits it. Bruce hits this one, he likely has the game. Gets it. Bruce just has to keep it on the lane and he gets this one. 128 for Gary. Gary already, Bruce already has 128 plus his ball. Well, he kept it on the lane. 135. That's a good game for Bruce. That, early on, that game was real rough. A lot of chops and splits for him. All right, I'm going to take a moment. Stream's going to go off for a second while I reconfigure the bitrate, make sure everything is good. So I will be right back. Do not be worried. Don't have to change anything. Okay. All right, I'm back. Everything's good. Didn't actually have to change too much, but wanted to make sure I had it all set up so that the stream was as optimal as I could get while it's on the higher bandwidth. <coughs> Alright, so moving over from the left. I'll wait till I see what the. Uh, Oh, okay. So, whatever. Nobody's waiting give you a report on what the standings all are. Okay. <laughs> it looks like they're going to get started here on 19 and uh, Alright, starting off on 1920. It looks Bruce Smith versus Wayne Lipka, Lucas Penny versus Bill Sutcliffe, Steve Rowley versus Gary oh, McKenzie. On the left, we're going to have Chuck Paris versus Brian Stucco Weaver. Uh, Weaver. I'll eventually pronounce his name. Uh, that's a tough one. And then I think we have Jason Segi versus Lisa Huber. And that should live John Green against Richie Hipkins. That's a fun group. Bruce hits a spare and Wayne goes in the middle. I'm going to go and check and see what the standings look like on both of these pairs. Got to check on the standings for 17 and 18. Richie, <laughs> as you can hear by the laugh from Richie Hipkins, he is 0 and 3 right yes. now. I repeat, 0 and 3. 359 for three. John Green, I believe, is 1 and 2, and everyone else is 2 and 1. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to embarrass myself like this. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> So 
So this is game four. We'll have one more game after this. Looks like... Yeah, we'll have one more game after this with the uh, same bowlers from 17 and 18. What is that number that Lucas has? Because it looks like a two. It's probably a seven, but that really looks like a two. Oh. Let's see. John left a five seven on his first ball and he's shooting for ten now. That's gonna be a tough ten. Oh, Richie Hipkins gets a strike, trying to get that breadstick today. Get off the donut and get the breadstick. Man wants to get off the donut and get that breadstick. Man, he chops everywhere for everyone, it looks like. Like Brian dropped that ball. You know, it's fair. Yeah, you can see what it's chopped through. More chopping. Chops for everyone. Everyone gets a chop. Ooh. I've seen a lot of bad frames start like one Brian. Right Try to come back from Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I give Chuck twenty-two against Brian's twenty. The ball from Wayne. Yeah, It's just a five pin. Wayne gets a spare. Bruce on a spare. Jason on a strike on 18. Good ball from both bowlers. Oh, wow. Okay. I was a little worried for Jason then. That was going to fall. A hearty welcome back to Chris Roth. <laughs> Chris Roth like to point out he has 450 pins and he's one and two right now. Ooh, nice ball from Bill. Champions on a strike. He's just seven. Con Green going open after the split last frame. Goes right through the middle. Ooh, this is a big ball from Luke. That was just crushed. That gives him, I, I, I think that's 12 in the second, plus a hit. I think it's a 12. I can't read that as anything but a 2. There's no way that's a 7. And I'm too scared to ask anybody if that's actually a 2. Good fall from Gary. What a ball from Steve. I post, post him and Gary at 19, even on hits. You gonna get that breadstick? No more donuts? Just breadsticks? Just <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I did that all day. In fact, I went to a double and then ripped the middle. That was my entire Saturday. I had nine strikes and three doubles. I didn't throw a bomb, I just missed it. Bruce. I thought that was hit better than that. We need to get some balls back on 17-18. So Bill's going to go for Bruce finishes out here. Bill's on a strike. Good ball, ugly split. Look better than that to me. Ah, I picked a two pin. Nice try from Bill. Almost had that. This ball popped out of the gutter. And finishes out with a nine. That gives Chuck three two and a hit against twenty nine. Oh, at least it went right through the middle. I thought that, that ball just slid right in through the middle. I guess now is the moment we get to figure out whether that is a two for you. I think James picked the shot. To get a four pin runner, he picked it. And we just the middle. Lots of chops. Chops, chops are uh, free for everyone to have this game. Congratulations, Jason. He picked both of the pins he was aiming for. That's a lot of try from Lucas in this time. Big ball from Gary. He's just seven. So that definitely was a two box. Yes, we have confirmed. That was a two box. It gives him 27 in the third. To Bill 39. Green converts a three pinner. Puts him up on the board. <coughs> Gary makes a spare. But you get him with a bomb. Absolutely destroyed. Ten in the board. He read the rule book. Make sure I know he read the rule book. He rips through the middle. You knew it, didn't you? Oh, it was in the bag. As soon as, as soon as they all fell, it was in the bag. Ooh. I always thought I'd come back for Steve. It up. Need a quick moment to check on it. Make sure the stream is good. Cut out in real life, but it hit pretty well, actually. This is a bizarre mix, though. That's something she can hit, though. Bill completely preventing me from viewing him throwing a bomb that left the five pick.
Bruno gets a spare. Wide, but uh, have some work to do to catch back on the bill. Oh. John Green on spare here. I don't understand, John. Throw more of that good lens three pin. I don't get it. Probably could all catch Bill ragging on John for leaving a single pin there. Good ball from Gary. Here's the nine pin. You go, John. Yes, John. John gets his spare. He gives him 49 and a hit in the fall. Chickens. Good ball. Didn't get the mix he wanted. Left seven eight. It just drives by that single. I, while I wasn't looking, Steve threw another shot. Big ball from Wayne. Give him a triple. Brian watching John Ball. Goes wide left, there's a single pin. What was that break from Chuck? That break from Chuck was like kind of kind of gnarly. I didn't think he hit it that light. Bruce goes through the middle. That's going to make it difficult to catch up to Wayne's triple. As is whatever this box is going to do. Chuck hit his break. Looks like Brian missed his single pin. That puts Chuck at 66 plus a hit against 46 combined. Lucas gets on this. Trying to get trying to get some marks to catch up the bill. Looks good. Starting to roll back. Man, I think it's too far forward. Yep, these five pins. Jason knew he had a good ball there. Lose seven pin. This ball cuts just too much on him. Looked like a decent line. There you go. Ooh, kind of we got strikes all on the right side on lane 20 there. Bill with a strike and Gary with a strike. Is it trying to come back? No, I think it's not. Jason for the 10, gets him 73. One more. Oh. Yeah. Too much ball for the house, Todd. Too much ball for the house. Steve almost with the double there, but leaves a 9 10. Get one of them, gets him 63 against 58 and a hit on Gary. Why not? Why not? Go ahead, baby! Solid ball from Bruce there. 
get some sort of a strike off missing the head thing. Seems good. Nice. But you knew he didn't throw a good ball there. Sun picks out three pins I had aim for. Went on a triple. Uh, hit a bit too heavy. Can he get the trip? Point hits a spare. It gives you 127 in a hit. No, 117 in a hit in the six. Against uh, 70 in a hit. Meanwhile, Richie has 67 against John. Ooh, ooh. That was a funky break for Lucas. Uh, able to leave just a single. Hit. Ryan gets himself a strike. Bill leaves just a 10 hit. Chuck destroyed that ball. That was you can't throw a better ball than that. It is just the eight for now. Bill just misses it. That gives Chuck gets a spare that gives him, I believe that's 84 in a hit up against 56 in a hit. Well, 19 and 20 at frame for Bill, I believe it's an 88 against Lucas's 56 in a hit. Oh, give it to her. Watch too many chops, not chops today when you get to the and speak of the devil, more chops. Gary on a strike. Gives himself a double. Nice See, so trying to keep pace. Oh, picks the two pinner. Knows he needed that. Uh oh, Jason didn't like it. Jason did not like that. He saw that ball coming back and was like, this thing better made up. Oh, what a try. So on the bottom of 1920, Gary has 78 and two hits against Steve, 72. Bruce bounces the ball in there. Oh, wow. It looks like it's gonna have to be down by hand. John's been just off the head pin this game. He's been leaving stuff he can throw at. Big ball from Wayne. He has 126 in the six right now. But he hit his spare, see if John can follow. Nope, missed it. We knew this spare that gives him 136 and a hit. They wait for Stickman to take out Bruce Deadwood. This isn't that bad for Bruce, actually. I think if he can hit the left side of the four pin, this will go. Wow. Wow, this guy's had ball hit of both. What a man. What a man. That gives him 90 and a hit in the seven. Still a lot of work to do. He's down 46 pins. That is a really good looking ball. It's a strike. Gives him a double. Gives him a shot to come back into the game. 
Chuck ended up with a split, so he'll have about a hundred this frame. Provided he hits one of these pins. Nope, 99. Lucas on a spare. He needs to run a couple marks together to catch up the ball. That might not do it. I was a. I did a bit too light. Left eye hop. Big ball from Lisa and Bill. Both. Bill hits a spare, Lisa gets a strike. Jason can match up with Lisa. Good ball. Leaves a nine pin. Good ball from Gary. Jason hits a spare. That keeps him up seven, but even on this. Gary misses single pin. Steve trying to get back. Take it? Yes. Gets it. Big strike. Gives him 82 and a hit. Against 104. Tough game for John. Right the middle. Richie on a spare. Looks like he pushed it a little wide right. Breaks well enough for him to lose it. Bruce after hitting that spare. Let's see what he can do with his ball. It's good. It is good. Almost left 7-8. Down both the ball. See if Wayne can answer. Hold his lead up. He yeah, can. What a ball. That gives Wayne 156 in the seventh. No, the eighth. Plus a hit. I don't want to jinx it, but we might be on a 200 watch for Wayne Lipka. Just, just saying. Just saying. Put you inside single for a 10. Puts him up 20 on John. Ugly break for this. Ryan's on a double on 17, trying to work his way back into this game. There was a good ball. It's nine. Nice shot. It's a 5-7 for the spare. <laughs> Alright, with that spare, that gives Brian 105 and a hit in the ace. Chuck hit his spare, that gives him 109 and a hit. Shuts up four, both even on hits. You gonna get it? Oh, didn't wobble. He's just one. What a ball from Jason. Good ball. Leave seven. Lisa trying to come back her ball, see if it'll roll. Nope. YouTube. Uh, it's called Duck Pins, the number four ever. If you're in the Duck Pin Global Group, there's a link to it there. Good ball from Gary, at least just a seven pin. Got some big scores up here right now. Ooh. 
There we missed it. That will give Gary one uh, 14. One, one 14 up against Steve's 102 and a hit. Lane on the strike. Wants a big ball here. Those are bomb. Absolute bomb. Leaves the eight pin though. I was destroyed. Ah, I missed the single. I thought Wayne had that double. That gives, that gives Wayne 174 and 90. I saw it, I saw it. I thought I had another one, so I had it. At least you're up this game. You're gonna, you're gonna get that breadstick. You know what? No, that means I'm getting my ass in my ass. I actually been mathematically eliminated. Yeah, but you don't want to end on a donut, you want a breadstick. Uh, no, 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 Bruce gets his spare, that gives him 130 against, 130 and a hit against 174. from Brian, making Chuck work for this game after Chuck looked like he was going to run away with it for a second. Thank you. Chuck gets his bear. Brian hits his spare. That's going to be a close game. Chuck has got four pins, but he won't. Gary, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Gambling shit all the time. That was not fun. Hey, what's up, man? I had to bowl second to keep you and Swami apart. The ball from Jason. It's nine. Good ball for Tony. See if he can trip it. Uh, 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 nope. Nope. Hey, don't have it this house. Jason converts his. I believe that was for a spare. Oh, hell. Ah, at least I picked it. That puts Jason in firm command of his game. Who's picks up a single that gives him 99 in a hit against 123 in a hit. At least go hit 100, huh? Bill in firm command of that game. I think. Meanwhile, Jason on the side. 131 in a hit against 114. So a good ball, a good ball from Jason. Who on the bottom here? Steve. Gary went open while I wasn't watching. So Steve's got a shot to take the lead here. Cross stuff. Hit well. It's nice. Ooh, it's 111 for Steve in the eight. Oh, but I missed it. I'll give him 120. 121 to 120. I think that's a three for Gary. Did they pull free entry for the pop win? I'm not sorry. I didn't even see if they pulled free entry for pop win. Yes, Bruce. Bruce is trying to make a game of this. I don't know if he physically can, though. No, he can't. Yeah. 
Oh, we do have a charge. Shit. I'm gonna have to go grab it after this game. Oh, one second. Did Wayne throw a strike? Yes, Wayne did throw a strike. Yeah, so they, they have a, a score sheet with the records. I'm going to make sure that I can get a picture of it um, in the middle of the next game so we know where everyone stands. Bruce working on a huge game that he's not going to be anywhere close to winning. Chuck Perry is still a good ball here. Come on, Wayne, give it to him! If he hit that, he'd been on 200 pace. Bruce finishes out with a 158. He's going to lose by 40. Wayne misses it for a 193. Great game from Wayne. I might, I might post that up online anyway. That was a very good game for Wayne. Oh, Wayne finishes out with, I think that is a 137. Looks like Brian, Brian's going to come back and win it. He opened with a spare, chopped on it, went four open, and then got five marks to come back and take that game. That's good work from Brian. Forty-eight to one thirty-seven. <laughs> Lucas gets a strike. I uh, Lucas couldn't take this game, especially with that that split from Bill. Looking gonna give Bill one forty something. Nah, nope, it's out of reach. I should learn the math before I say things, but never math on stream. That's a that's a rule of streaming. Never math on stream. Bill with a one forty-four. Most Lucas can get 139. So he'll take that game. Jason just went to He didn't want to do that. Left the door open for Lisa to do something. I don't think it's going to matter though. Good hit here. Can you get it? Jason finished with 146. Good game for him. Lisa will finish with, I believe that'll be a 123 or 4. 4. And while on 1920, Lucas finished with 128 to build 144. Gary, I think, missed the head pin on his first ball and didn't get it on the second. So he's going to finish with a 131. Steven needs a 10 to tie, mark the win. John throws the best ball I've seen him throw this game. There's a six pin, it's a good ball. Of course, I wasn't watching when he threw a strike last time. Steven leaves a three pinner to hit. He missed it. He has to hit this to tie. Meanwhile, John got a spare that gives him 115. So he has 25 plus. A good counter, good John game. Oh, shit. Oh, John. That is not what you want to do. Oh, might have gotten enough pain for that. 133. So if Richie hits this this pin, they tie. Gets it. As I said, free bowling. I can't remember if it's one frame or two frames. I think it's two. Two? Two frames. Thank you, Brian. 
Got some tiebreaker action on 17-18. Not that it matters. I think they were both last in their group. Solid tiebreaker action, right? Oh, tiebreaker. Absolutely. Isn't it awesome? This is why we come for Sundays. Oh, man. Wayne should have had 200. He threw a bomb on that on the, in the 10th. He ended up with uh, 196. That's respectable. Yeah, but he he had a, he had to double. He crushed it. Catch this tiebreaker action between John Green and Richie Hipkins. Two frames. John's gonna go first on 17. This is a wide left. That's a tough break. It looks like it's gonna be a while before 15, 16 move over anyway. So we got the time. Ooh, good try at it. Oh, maybe, maybe gets it anyway. All right, that gives John a spare. Almost like three and back there. Oh no. I knew the moment he let go of it, he held on to it too long. That's better. Better ish. Didn't look like he had a good line. All right, that gives Richie 10 and John a spare. But he's going to have to get a mark here. The ball. He's that same single pin. <laughs> Gets a spare. No, I needed, a, I needed about a 140 in my last game, and I shot a 98. So I was a little off. Yeah, I couldn't get anything going in my last game. I had a shot at it. What really hurt me was I had three doubles and I chopped through on two of them. That's, that, that's, that's like 30 pins just thrown away. Yeah. I have another camera, but I'd have to set it up and I'd have to get another cable for it. I think Richie had six there. Ooh. So they're in the group stages now, so they're bowling against the person across from them. Five games, so they're groups of six, so you'll bowl everyone in your group once. And then the top two from each group will advance onto the bracket. Oh, did Richie win that? Yeah, Richard did win that. Oh god, he throws he throws bombs. He's probably the hardest thrower here. Alright, so Richie's gonna take that that game in the tiebreaker. 27 to 25. I think I'm going to save that game and post it up anyway because Wayne Lipko threw up one hell of a game there. Eh, maybe not. It's got to be 200 now. If I'm going to put it up, it's going to be big. Alright. Looks like they're still in the ninth frame on 15-16, so it's going to be a little while before they move over. So, we're going to start up... I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> you got your breadstick, though. I no did, no I did. donuts, you're on the breadstick. Ice is broken. I'm ready for the next shift. Sign me up. Alright. <laughs>
All right, so this is game five. It'll be the last game of groups. We're we'll going to the brackets. I'm going to take a quick moment to go over and see the record sheet and make sure that they know to get it over my way so I can post it up for you guys. So for the fifth game, we have Brian versus John, Lisa against Richie, and Jason against Chuck. So if I recall the standings correctly, Brian should be three and one. John will be one and three. Lisa is two and two. Richie is one and three. Jason's three and one, and Chuck, Chuck is two and two. In the meantime. I'm gonna see if I can get standings for the last game and show that off to you. Aha! There we go. All right, I'm going to <coughs> after Brian's ball swap over so you can see the standings after three games. So this is after three games, what the current standings are. So I'll give it some time for everyone to watch over and then cut back when Lisa throws her ball. Tommy Osborne, three and out. Now I mean, three and out, had to pick 200 games. Steve Raleigh is three and one now.
Dave Jones 3-0, Harwood 3-0. And one of my bowlers doing anything. No one I know. I know well, I should say. I'm gonna make fun of Chris Roth being high scratch in his group, but only being one in two. Just feel like that's important to post up. Make sure everyone knows. Alright, I'm gonna swap back. I'll keep you all updated once they post up game four. Back to the game. Looks like they just finished up on 15-16, so they're moving over to 17-18 right now. The ball from Jason. Leaves a 7 pin. He's been leaving that a lot. Actually, everyone's been leaving a 7 pin a lot. Actually, you know what I could have done? <laughs> While we were going to set up. can do this and hopefully actually I trust this screen. Alright, this might be a little tricky to read. But I'm gonna do that for now so everyone can see the current standings. Oh we wait for them to get started on 17 and 18. Brian hits it there. Once they start it off, I'll turn it off. But that's after three games, and they're just starting up the fifth game now, so I'll let you all know what's going on once once the fifth game is posted. Once the fourth game is posted up, I'll do a swap over that too. The ball from Lisa. Lisa said, She's up against Richie Hipkins right now. She with a tough shot to hit. Oh, gets it. Nice spare. That gives them 39 in the third plus a hit. Lisa gets her spare. That gives her 30 plus a hit. All right. Looks like they're gonna get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that scoreboard. Heavy, see if you can get that finisher. Yep. These are two good. Okay, so on 17 and 18, we have Matt and Stacey versus CJ Taylor, Wayne Matheson versus, I think that's John Huber, and Chris Roth versus Rob Noll, maybe? Maybe. I'll find out. I'll check with Chris, see what the standings are. Right here. Okay. 
I know Wayne Matheson is 4 0, so he's in. <laughs> Wade Matheson and, and uh, Matt Kruger. Got it. Matheson hit his spare. So now I can start paying attention. Now. I think I've got most things sorted out. Roth so has a good ball. Leaves the seven. I don't know. That, that's in position for a foot. Nope. Seven it is. Ten from Richie. That puts Lisa up. 48 to that's okay. That's okay. That's 56. 48 with a hit to 56. This is something ugly. Oh, I didn't watch. Looks sure I thought he hit too heavy there. But still gets a strike out of it. I'll give him 47 and a hit. Okay, so the bottom is Chris Roth and Randy Follow. I think Randy's at the end. Don't quote me on that. Well, he's just a five point. before it was, it was Anastasia, now it's Anastasia. I swear. Big ball from Lisa gets a strike. That gives her 68 and a hit against Richie's. Against 66 that I hit for Richie. Oh, 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 oh,
keep your ball from Wayne. He's the seventh pin. Had a double for Chuck? I think it was. Jason Sagan, good ball. Cross stuff. Cross up and hit a little heavy, and I think that kind of hurt the break. But still, it's a good ball. That goes in some things. And miss a single. Popped out of the gutter. Good hit for Matt Kruger. I think that was close pair. <laughs> that was Wayne shooting for 10 here. Gives him 129 to Kruger's 20 plus a hit. Right to the three pin, but that's something to throw at. Hey, Eric, how's it going? We're in the last game of groups. Good hit for Brian. I saw you were one and two. Did you win? How'd you do the last game? So you're two and two? Still in there, just no big game. Nah, nah, nah. Big game. Big game. Don't worry about winning. Just no big game. Let the rest happen. <laughs> so I had to give a pet talk to my man, Bucky Pool. He's moving all the way down to one and two. Hit a spare there. That gives him 29 and a hit. Uh, thank goodness. It's a big Uh, scores have been. Yeah, they've been good. I'd say they've been good. Um, Wayne Lipka almost had a 200. Uh, who was it that had the 200? Brian Vest had a 200 today, so scoring's been pretty good. There's been a couple awkward breaks. And it's a spare for Richie. That gives him 76 and a hit to Lisa's 84 in the six. But bone well. And he picks up his. I oh know, that was only 10. I thought that was for a spare. So he has 20 to Chris Ross, 29 and a hit. Chuck, good ball from Chuck. He's 10 pin. Good ball from CJ. Who's a 6 10. And Stacy's on, and Stacy's on strike. Uh, uh, wow, wow, what just happened? Yeah. Yeah, I caught that. Yeah, I could give myself a replay on it. It was so wild. Uh, yeah, I gotta, see, I gotta see that shot again. Oh man, that pin, that pin slid halfway across the lane. I should have given you all a replay. I'm gonna start tweaking up the, the bit rate. 
try to get a little better picture of it. I, we're, we're not dropping any frames, so I'm comfortable. Just a matter of the, can the hardware encoder handle it. Ooh. Just tip it. What Brian can do on his, his spare. He's been throwing well since he came back in the end of last game. Continues it. It's a strike. He had a rough start the last game, but came back with five marks. John goes through the middle. He's having a tough time today. While on the left, Matt Kruger with 37 to Wayne Matheson. I think that's 39. And that ball return is not very nice. I'll up top on the right. Ryan has 94 and a hit to 92. Bomb from Randy. Good mix, Lee. Good strike two. Yes, sir. Richie Hipkins next to the bowl. Up on 20. I thought I heard a Goes right to the middle. He's on spare, too. That hurts. Strikes all on 19. And a bomb from Chuck Parrish, too. That gives him 105. Five and a hit versus seventy-four and a hit. Sorry, I'm not getting any commentary. I have to check on something for the moment. Although I did catch Lisa throwing a double. Thank you. 
to take a momentary break to look over some things. Hopefully keep that six concern. At least he's on a double here. Uh, we can hit a little one. Bomb for rain. So 139 to Richie's 110. Richie's got a little bit of work to do if he wants to get back in this game. As I said, you got some work to do. I'd only say that if the 10 pin fell. <laughs> kick? That wasn't. The pins I thought he was going to hit with that ball. Well, I wasn't paying attention, Randy got another strike for a triple. So he goes open, open, triple. Keep an eye out because we should be seeing the uh, game four results soon. Soon. Oh! 
pretty breaks I'm looking at right now. for Brian. It didn't look like that was going to hit very well. Good ball from Matt. At least a five pin. Brian finished with a 167 to John's 126. Puts Brian at three and two and John at one and four. This, this group's gonna come down the pinfall. <laughs> Richie, trying to stay alive. Watch out, Lisa, here he comes. That's one. <laughs> And has the door slammed right in his face. Tuck is going to send over. Richie finishes with a 130, 1 and 4. <coughs> oh. Lisa finishes up with a 153. Randy Wells on a triple and missed a single pin. Uh, Lane was continuing. I'm just going on. I'm trying to see what score Wayne. Wayne. I wanted to check and see 21 and 22. I think Wayne got went 4 and 0. 4 and 1. That should put him in. Wow, here. Just finishing up on 19 and 20. Ooh. Nice try for Chuck. Oh, maybe? Alright, Chuck finishes with a, I think it's a 149 and Jason is 127. That's a lot of 3 and 2 in that group. Is everyone 3 and 2 in that group? Is everyone three and two in here? Except for you and John? Except for me and John Green. Oh, that's gonna be a fun group. <laughs> yeah, so I don't I don't know who's gonna advance out of that group, because that's gonna come down to the pinfall between those four bowlers. That just leaves 17 and 18 finished up for us before we can move on to the bracket.
You guys already figure out who's going in? Okay. So, looks like Brian uh, Scuccio Weaver and Lisa Huber both are going to advance out of that group. I thought Brian was going to get PLS, going to get the pins. But I wasn't sure about anybody else. to the middle, finishes out with 10, so that gives him 117 in the 7 against Chris Raw, left the 3 pinner on his first ball. And of course, because the spare gives him 80 and a hit. Still got some work to do. And that goes through the two pin. He just throws the ball of his life to try to get that triple. Leaves the three pin. DJ gets that spare. I'm gonna wait for them to do math so I don't have to on stream and make myself look like a fool. Please, you need help? So 108 plus a hit to 93. While well, the next group. Matt Cooter is going pretty well for himself. Wayne gets on this ball. Big ball. At least a five point. And this is fair for Wayne. That gives him 102 and a hit. You can bring this ball back from that. So that game, that game's gonna be close. We'll have 114. Randy's gonna be first to go. He's just a headband. Thank you. He knows what he's doing. I've never done a practice before. Just one of these are Yeah. Randy hits a spare. I think in the group on 23-24, Wayne Lipka and Bill Sikka. Hey, 
Chris Roth having a phone call while he's throwing this ball. The first guy I ever meet a Zoom meeting was thrown at goal. History. It's been done. Now everything's been done. Good multitasking from Chris Roth. All right. Looks like we have... I can post this up on the right side now. <laughs> we got those scores for game four. I get the image up. I mean, I hear you. I think, I think, uh... I also said, I'll hold my Give me a moment, I shall put it up. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So I'm posting up the score. So that's after game four. Oh, I didn't realize Randy and uh, Randy and Wayne had already advanced in this group. <laughs> So in Division D, yeah, Wayne and Randy are already in. In Division E, Weaver and Lisa Huber both advanced in. In F, it's Bill and got through Lipka. Bill and, Bill and Wayne got in. And the only other person who's sending I know of is Dean Tony. But uh, I'll, I'll keep this up until we uh, finish up this game, and then I'll start looking around to see if I can get a copy of the bracket. Uh, that's a good catch, Eric. I'm going to go point that out. I'll be right back. So that was a spare, but he had seven on, so it was good that I went up and told him. Yeah, that was a spare, it was just tricky to tell. It's tough to tell while Chris is on a Zoom call in the middle of bowling. Still on that Zoom call. <laughs> Wonder if he's still screaming profanity when he misses that pin on the Zoom call. Nice ball, CJ. 
you lose a single pin. A little better than that, but although same result, unfortunately. Picks up that spare. <laughs> Matt finishing out. Oh my! Right out for a 132 game. He <laughs> goes through the middle for a 140. 142. <laughs> Ugh. Playing gets a spare there. Trying to hold up that perfect record he had. Gonna need a little bit more out of that. I don't have enough balls to do it. That's 143 for Matt Kruger. Wayne's going to get an unfortunate blemish on the record. Because he's got 130 plus this ball. Looks like Chris's call's over. Good shot, man. Right? It's not an easy break. That gives him 154 plus one more ball. Nah, no, call's not over. My bad. Finishes with a 114, and Randy finishes with a 163. All right, um, that is it for all the games I have right now. I think it's gonna be a while because I think the POA bowlers uh, only started their game like two or three frames ago. So I think it's gonna be a while um, before they start up the uh, the bracket round. So I'm going to take us into a break until I figure out what the what the bracket looks like. So I'll be right back and I'll see you all around. It'll probably be at least a half hour, I think. I'm not quite sure how far along they are. I can't see from here, but I would guess about 20 minutes to a half hour before we get into the brackets. So I'll be back. See you all around.
All right, looks like they're about to get started here on 17 and 18, maybe. So this will be the first round of the brackets. Once I get a copy of the brackets, I'll go ahead and I'll post that up for everybody. But first match is going to be Foster Campbell versus Jason Milliken. And off we go. Foster Campbell's going to be first to throw on 17. He's just a three pin. Shooting for the spare. Looks ooh, a thin cut. That's a 10 for Foster. That's the slowest ball return I've seen in my life. It actually just came down. Yeah. Alright, after a little rain delay, Jason is first ball. <laughs> Good. It's just a seven. Goes right at it. Spare to open up for Jason. Jason back up on seventeen. Good ball. This is a seven pin. Once again, shooting that single. Ooh, got it too far over. Makes a stand. Gives him 29 in the second. Foster going after going open on the first frame. Looks good. Get a little heavy. It's a good break. It's just too heavy. Shooting for the spare here. It's a first time. <laughs> so 
next up, it's Jason up nine, 29 to 20. A little bit to the right, hit just a tad light. Still a makeable shot. Oh, right through the hole. Eight out. Gives him twenty eight. Just watching the kickers other than him. Ball leaves five down. Ah. Didn't follow through, dropped it. Nine out gives him thirty-eight. That's the three pen. It's first round of the bracket. Ooh. Dude, the three and then rip through the head pin. Wow. Picked all the way through. Gives him 44 in the fourth. The Foster's 28 in the third. Thirty-eight in a count versus forty-four in the fourth. to the middle. Oh, come on. Yeah, man, man, take the first shot. Oh, we're going to play him. Yeah. Oh, 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 Yeah. 
Just a little bit to the left. See if you can bring it back. Ah, just too light. Wanna hit that heavy. Oh, yes, please. Uh Sarah Miss? Thanks. Oh. Eight out. It gives him 52 to 55. A little bit of a slow start here. A lot of chops. Saw that a lot on 17 and 18. Speaking of the devil. Frames looking familiar to Jason. Oh, big, oh, oh. Let's go. Let's see if we can get some pins back here. Oh, good shot. It's nine. Has 61 in the sixth, 55 in the fifth. Looks good. Great ball. Great ball. Great ball just left the tent. Oh, just got over. Good spare. Gives him 55 and a count to 61. <laughs> All right, Foster on a spare. See what he can do here. Oh, it's just a five pick. 74 to 61. Follows up with another spare. 84 and a hit. So you're saying it would have been a 61 in the box left. I, I think he's going behind the defender, too. It was just that linebacker. He is the best half. I mean, he's the best quarterback last game. And all the last. I will. I take one to jump for I take one to jump for But then you better have good holders and safety to do being on man. And one of those two turns going down. Oh! Yeah, he'll take that. That's 71 in a hit versus 84 in a hit. <laughs>
good. Just let the eight Gets it. 81 in a hit. Oh, 91 in a hit. I gotta, I gotta do math. I've been here all day. Can't do math anymore. So it's 91 in a hit. In the eighth to 84 in a hit in the seventh. Bit of a weird break. But good count. Gives him 91 in the second. Six. Oh. Went right through it. Nine up gives Foster a hundred even against Jason's ninety-one in the hit. Two frames left. Object pen. All you can really ask for sometimes. Eight out gives Foster a 108 in the ninth. Make sure that ball comes back. That one didn't look like it was going to come up. Yeah, it did. Alright, Jason up on 18. He's on a Fair. Good count. Keeps him even. Mark puts him in the lead. Sort of in the mind. I guess that ball was really Yeah, it was not. Cross seven hill. Had like a guy could count out of it. It gives him 99 in the A's. Outside? Nope. Nine out gives him 108. Tied game going into the 10th frame. Pin matters right now. This game's tied. Wide left. That is 
Mark needs to get a few more pins. Thanks a lot, man. Eight out. Costner needs nine pins to win. Foster into the next round. At nine gives him 27. <laughs> 28. Foster Campbell advances 128 to Jason Milliken's 116. All right, get started, get ready for the second round here. I don't know who I have though. I haven't seen the bracket yet. I'm not sure yet. But I can put that up already, since we know it'll be second round. Lane okay. okay. one and two, John D'Antonis, Foster Campbell. Uh, Three and four, Sean Dodson, Lisa Chris Cuba, Harwood. Uh, lost her match. Seven and eight, Buddy Turner, Kobe D'Antonis. Nine and ten, Wayne Luke, Wayne Lipka, Bill Sukup. Thirteen and fourteen, Dave Jones, Phil Dix. Fifteen, sixteen, Brian Santuccio, Weaver, Mike Manns. Nineteen and twenty, Wayne Matheson, Randy Farlow. Twenty-one and twenty-two, Rick Long, Tom Osborne. I think it'd be a good one for the second round. start I can snag a picture of the bracket and get that up for you. Guys. 
just like, hey, can we get tennis on this weekly? This is so much better. I'll wait for them to start up. I'm going to try to get a bracket for you. It's going to take me a minute. It was faster and faster than my Once they start up, I'll run and grab one. Or at least take a picture of it. And I can get it out to you guys. the bracket so I'll miss the first frame or two, but I'll be right back. A strike and war. Wayne's about to throw his first ball. So I've got the bracket. I'll post it up after this game. But I will get it loaded at least. Wayne leaves us a five pin there. Today. Uh, 
try this one. We ain't taking a while to wait for that ball to come out. in second frame after the open nine. Gets it to hang in there just long enough to leave the nine in. Catches it for the spot. Randy on the strike here. Good ball. A chance. Uh, oh, and a butt on that. Nine out for Randy gives him 28 in the second. Things are running a bit harder than people think. Alright, Matheson coming up on the 20. He's on a spare right now. Get a little light. 
Yeah, I love the ugly bike part too. Slide this around. Ten out gives Wayne a thirty six to Randy's thirty seven in the third. One more bounce off the wall to take that pin out. He was ball popped out of the gutter. It took out seven. <laughs> it was three ball shot. Ten. All right. Randy with 37 pins in the third right now. Ah, wow, right through the middle. <clears throat> to mix them around. Ooh. Nine out. Forty six. Tied forty six aside. I hit a little heavy, but might still get it. Gets it. Let's go. If we can even out that strike. Oh wow! Didn't look like that at all.
Eight out for Wayne. That gives him 54 to Randy's 56 and a hit. Big game coming on 21 and 22. Oh. Looks like Wayne over threw that a tad. Let this number hit him a lot. Now Wayne gets the spare. That'll give him 64 and a hit. Alright, let's do this. How's it going? Hi, everybody. I'd like to welcome you all to my house. I'm gonna have some fun here. You can't see because someone's standing up. Just look at the screen. We have one of our house bowlers, Rick Long, over here, bowling well over his average. Both him and Tommy are bowling well over his yes. average. Oh, right oh. with a missile for nine. Thank everybody for being here, bowling, watching. Enjoying everything this weekend. Always love putting on tournaments. Thank David for setting all this up so you all can watch this. Yeah, we've held about, we had 24 starting, but we've held about 30, 35 throughout most of the day. Ooh, yeah, Ooh, good hit. With the single. I will try to keep my cursing to a minimum. Listen, we've had Justin Stewart here. As long as you keep the F-bombs down, we're usually okay. I'm much more sober than Justin. That's not going to help, though. <laughs> Try to not get canceled, John Gruden style during this broadcast. <laughs> so Randy's Red got it. Makes another one. Bowls for his wood. Rick actually bowls here in the mix like on Friday nights. Oh, Randy um, a missile. That gives Randy 96 in the eighth plus a hit. I'm hoping, I'm hoping the camera is, the mic's catching everything Randy has to say right now. Or maybe not. Randy is very impressed with the girth with which Rick is bowling in his last couple games. Oh dear. That was a bold strategy on that one. Don't normally play the 4 7 I watched Colton Gill hit that for a double once. It made me very angry. Colton throws the ball a little bit harder than Rick does. He's gonna make that. Oh. Let's rip that. I think he's gonna end up with 60 some. Yes, he has 160 plus in his ball. He has a one. I think he's coming with a 115 average for this tournament. So that is a. That's close to a magnet game right there. I think Tommy's run, run marks all the way from the third round. Sadly, there is a air conditioning <laughs> event covering my league to see Tommy score. So 160 piece. even for Rick. Wayne Madison up there in lane 20. Meeting Mark here to stay in the game. One thirty nine. Detonated. Not up the deck leaving a solid 8 pin. Tommy has a 130 in the ninth. He needs to triple out the tie. And the first one. Oh! One down, two to go. 
we might have some bonus bowling here on 19, uh, 21 to 22. We already had some bonus bowling. Double and two. Runner, runner on uh, 20. We have Dead Without Fun. You might get to see Kevin the Hobbit Burke hop down here and uh, scoop this pin up. It was 39. Yeah, 39. So he still needs Tom a double. Tom needs a strike here. If he breaks nine and makes it, he would lose by one. Oh. 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 Mixing, mixing, mixing. Oh. Looks like time is going to lose this one 160 to probably 159. You want my spot, Chris? Do what? You want my spot? Chris Roth coming back here to sit on my lap. If you'd like to go take a piss, I'll take a See, so we can see if something pops up. Um, I've got something that pops up. Oh dear. Are we doing the finals now? Yeah. I should have a, I should have a game every. I'll probably sit in for your final match. <laughs> I, so we can get legendary commentary. Oh Jesus! Yeah, get a lot of bad touching during that match. Bad touching going, I dick in the back room. I know, right? Yeah. It's gonna be awkward during the final match when both of us are using joysticks. What? We're both proprietors. We're allowed. It's fine. Rick Long with another upset. Let's go, Rick. Hey, Rick. Yes. Come on over here and say hi to YouTube. Uh, hello, YouTube. <laughs> Let me see. I can, I can pull up the bracket and see who you'll face next round. So you'll be facing the winner oh, of this match right yeah. here. Which one? Oh, whoever wins this. This one. Wayne with the spare. So Wayne has 102 plus in the eighth. Randy has 96 plus in the seventh. Working on a strike. Randy, one of the best strike bowlers on the planet. Already on a strike. I'll put on the the bracket after this game, but I'll try to I'll try to get an update as to uh, who who advanced out of the uh, this round. There are 39 concurrent viewers at the moment. Y'all people need a life. <laughs> so I suggest joining another league. Hi, Mom. Send money. Patronize and patronize your local centers. <laughs> Duck pin bowling. Catch the contagion. Randy up or at least the tournaments. Yes. Randy here. I'm going to say he's going to hit the one-two pocket and dead hit nine. Oh, oh wow. The ball drifted a little bit. We'll go our left. I think Mike Manns is going to advance over Ryan Santucci or Weaver. Ryan came out like fire after his third, in the middle of his third game. A chicken wing. Chicken wings. Did you find out if Phil's beating uh, Dave? Yeah. Phil is? Oh, yeah. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be in the other matchup next to us. It's going to be Phil Dix versus Mike Manns. Uh, Randy has 133 in the ninth. I so if Wayne gets a straight here, that will put him at 122 plus a count, making it very close. But he definitely needs a good count in the mark here to stay in this match. Woo! Bill Dix uh, murders this house. He averaged 150 here last season for the second half. Wow. Oh! Wingman. Sorry, sorry, Wingman. When you, were bowling, when you were bowling next to me earlier, I was trying to throw a strike so I could get you to dance with me when I came off the lane. Because that's the only move I can do besides the dice roll. Uh, 
Wayne right there. in the face. This is a very close match here. Wayne has 121 plus in the ninth. Randy has 133 in the ninth. Wayne going first, getting a big finish, but Randy on something. I remember. <laughs> I was commentating for that one too. <laughs> That was, that was a fun tournament. It was. Are you, you going to bowl the triples tournament in April? We'll get you on the team. Wayne needing a big ball here. Oh, right in there. Ooh, ah. Crusher. We have a two pin match here. Wayne needing another one here to really put the pressure on. So he's got 41 plus oh, these two balls. 41. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. I saw. I saw. Well, just pick bowlers that don't open spare double against you. And you'll get more wins. <laughs> I played really good defense the first four games. What did I do? This is like gregarious personality. You lull them into a false sense of security. Yeah, that's Steve Riley on commentary right now. You want to say hi to Robbie? Hey, Robbie! Uh oh! Oh! Okay. Wayne converts this here. That would give him 151, which would put Randy on a mark of 9 to win. Never make it tie. Hey, Bob. Bob is another one of our league bowlers here. Yeah, the 4 9, 4, four 8, I mean. Wow, we got a little bit of the break. I'll see if I can bring up the bracket quickly. Over here. Nice game, Philip. Nice game. Sorry, Mark, I need to win, Mark, and seven that's high. Yep. Very, very big ball here, which is also what she said. I'll be here all week. This rock over here looking like a snack. Messenger was delivered. There's some danger zone going on with that ball. Still gotta hit this though. For Randy, Wayne with the 150. Wayne going on to the next round to face Rick Long. And Phil Dixon going Mike Manz. Sean, who'd you lose to? Harwood. Harwood. I missed three two pinners and two singles. I threw the ball great. My first you should have told him to you know, bowl one handed. I might have set him off. He only shot 114, but like I said, I missed five errors. All right, I'm going to take a second to swap over to right, Stan. Lanes. So everyone can 23 see. to 24, D. I don't know who all won this round. There. 17 and 18, Turner Lipka. 9 and 10, Dix Mans. 3 and 4, Matheson Long. The old Dix Mans. Okay, 
2324 the Antonis Harwood 1718 Turner Lipka 9 and 10 Dixman's 3 and 4 Mathis and Long. For those of you uh, not watching the Ravens game, they apparently just scored no touchdown. Suck at Chargers and your seven fans. They should be. Catch who they say, yeah. I think it's it Buddy Turner and Wayne Lipka. Yes, Buddy Turner versus Wayne Lipka. Wayne Lipka has been throwing bombs all day. Wayne Lipka bent me over and didn't even spit on the first in the divisional round. Isn't that right, Wayne? To say yes. Yes. Confirmation. He almost had a 200 game. He had two 193 games. <laughs> yes, Somebody's Mr. getting up. I want to commentate about it. All right, I'll get up once it once it starts up. There you go. Okay, right, we'll, we'll, we'll rotate or something. I gotta get in the. I'll rotate else. on you. Oh dear. Crazy. He's rebooting. We're okay to say that. Right eh, it's up and bowling. This is part for the course. Part for the anal course. What? 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 Even mean? I mean, what? Normally, normally you gotta buy me. What? What in the butt? Or at least say please. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you're polite with me, we're good. So I can tell you to fuck off as long as my hand's on your knee. Inner thigh. Sammy. Well, no, I so Bob's watching the feed at least on our YouTube. Yeah, he was, he was just messaging me. <laughs> I'm going to go with Randy. 3 and 1, 551. I'm at 568 after 3 and 1. I was fucked. I had the wrong people at the wrong time. I just choked up my tiny, tiny dick and you know, That's what I tossed myself that fourth game. If I'd have won the fourth game, maybe 4 no, I'd have been like Flint. Then I could have embarrassed myself in the bracket instead of, you know, head to head. I embarrassed myself on the cut. I'm used to doing that. <laughs> It was, it was it was nice to be able to relax and know I didn't have to worry about whatever anybody bought on Saturday. I still might be able to bowl next month at Glen Burnie. I signed up. Better bowl. I did well at Glen Burnie last time. Hope I make the cut again. My only problem with Glen Burnie is the ownership. Really good. Pretty swallows too, because spitters are quitters. Are you rebooted yet? Well, I was, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off once I get... Oh, okay. We're all going to hell. 18. I'll come do some color commentary. <laughs> some dumb commentary. <laughs> Will it be better or worse than Justin Stewart? Oh, uh, better. All the above. Yeah. <laughs> what is yes? <laughs> yeah, Colby, you can come sit in my lap, boss. He's going to sit between us. Nice. In this nice restaurant booth. <laughs> He'll be the meat in the... Uh, uh, they're bowling. It looks like they're starting up. All right, we're going to... We're going to have live. All right, go ahead and get Coming to you live from lane 17 and 18. We've got Buddy Turner and Wayne Lipton. Maybe the best hair matchup of the competitors left in the tournament. Buddy sporting a. What do you call it? Medieval Lord of the Rings ponytail. That's what it is. Hi, everybody. Wayne up here looking like an extra from Vikings. Joined here by Chris Roth. There's been no funny business yet. Both of our hands are above the table. It's not my hand, buddy. Oh dear. That's not my buddy hands. That's buddy over there. I guess we can give some commentary on the Dan Tonis thing. Norwood's uh, dropped a strike. That's probably a spare. Dan Tonis? Is that a spare? Okay. Yeah. I, I, I think he would have to feel like a really good strike to get a credit for one because he uses both hands. I see. All right, well, Wayne's done with that frame. Wayne got a nine. This is the deepest Chris Harwood's made into a tournament since probably, I don't know, the first Bush administration. Oh, dear. All right. So what's Buddy going to do here? Buddy says... Buddy's been stroking it today. And I, I mean the ball. Yes. Buddy throws a very smooth ball. Nice and easy. Good rotation.
beats it into the floor like it owes some money. Jesus. Terrible thing to say in this shopping center, especially. People getting killed outside. Look at Buddy making that oh. spare. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. We got just enough of that one. All right, John D'Antonio's over here to the right. Um, it's got eight off the side, so. Is that eight? I believe it is eight. Can't tell with a masking unit in the way. It looked like seven, actually. But he Where got it. Was he made it. Either way, it gives a shit, he made it. So John with 18 plus in the second. Right. Harwood up here working on a spare on Buddy Turner with a spare count here. Oh, crosses over nicely for the nine count. I thought we were going to have the Parkville special, which is 7, 8, or 9 in town. I thought you were talking about one of Dennis's delicious hot dogs from the snack bar. Now, Dennis Dennis hooked me up with a cookie earlier that he made, and i got to tell you, that was some good stuff. Store bomb, we'll do our best. That was a store bomb cookie? Yeah. Well, we had to bake it. It was really good. Oh, he presented it to me like it was his own cookie. Yeah, he really did. Man. Harwood, two handed it down there. Uh, right, Buddy Turner it's stepping it's back for a second. Well, they didn't write down his uh, scores. Maybe it is a strike there. Buddy just got a spare. Well, there is no score to for either, so. Yeah. Harwood sets himself. Surprisingly, did not take a drink of alcohol before this ball. No, why? Fires. Misses. And he complains about the house because he can't miss it. Oh. oh! Wayne right through the nose. Um, Wayne, I think, has made this at least twice today. He's got the pleasure of bowling with a match play. Oh! And he is just an amazing bowler. And his ball melts pins at this house. I left the two, three, four, six today. Maybe. Nice. Yeah. It's kind of actually shocking. It's a game I lost to uh, Matt. All right, hello. There's your ten. There's wood for, for Wayne there. It's funny. Chris Craft is here. Chris Craft is texting my phone as well. He asked if uh, I could sub tonight, and I thought I'm sorry, not allowed an AMF, buddy. Wish I could. No accounting for taste. No, I've never tasted an AMF. Harwood. Right. In the pocket. If only he had more behind the ball than a toddler, that might have been a mistake. Wayne wow. through the nose again. That new yellow down front's really making this place pop a little bit. It looks like a McDonald's drive through circa 1985. It does. But I, I'll take it. It's much better than the old, you know, puke gray. Is that what that was? Is that actually a, uh, like a template color? Puke gray? Puke gray. Right. Ah, oh, no. I don't believe it. Oh, oh, no! Wayne would be doing so much better had he not, you know, ripped the middle and forced to shoot monkey shots last night. But I can't believe that Wayne has almost made both of his three medals. Probably the other match. John this is uh, 19 plus in the second. Chris Harwood has 37 on the third. Johnny D, what he's going to do on 24. And I just detonated. Try it. Yeah, well, you can say that. It's okay. It's not the yeah, Right now, Wayne Lipka is getting more yeah. head than Pornhub. That's it. And it's just uh, not doing it. Well, I mean, and then you got fucked twice coming back on the. Uh, yeah. Wayne, you need, you need to stay off the head so much. I'd say get married. That's, that's when the uh, SS head ship does sail. That's nice. Buddy, Buddy. Buddy did not like it from his release. You could tell his yes. body language from his release. John just uh, missed a single. Hey, Foster. John missed a single. Over there, John. So I the believe they are tied at 37. That's correct. No, and he's. Got Ooh, Buddy! Yeah, I believe that they are tied at 37 and 30. Buddy almost had that. Buddy back for it. is going to have a commanding 2-3 frame, 40 or 41 to 29 lead. Uh, missing that single. Buddy now at 40 in the third. Well, I mean, at least it wasn't for a spare, so that kind of makes yes. it a little better. So are we in the round of 8 now or the round of 12 or what? 
like 16 or what the hell? I stopped on? paying attention when I eliminated myself in competition, sir. You know, I eliminated earlier this morning. It was after Cheesecake Factory from last night. That sounds delicious. Dude, it was great. The fettuccine slipped out so well. Buddy, crush her crossing over again. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> We're in the quarterfinals. Okay. Which means there are four finals. That's so we're in the round that, of eight. That, that's Latin for four finals. Waiting yes. for the round of four. D'Antonis. Johnny D says. Boom. Right, let's look at Buddy. Buddy's here for the uh, seven. Chris Bear. Oh, in the Just like face. Butter. Just like Butter. All right, so John D. Oh, thank you. Bracket matchups are. Has that strike. Johnny D is against Harwood. Chris Harwood down on uh, 23 and 24. Buddy Turner and Wayne Lipka. You're watching that in front of us on 17 and 18. Phil Dix and Mike Manns on 9 and 10. And Wayne Matheson against this long guy. Who's here? Rick Long. He has a league boulder here. He actually uh, came over um, this year when Pinland closed. He bowls here on Friday nights. Okay, so he's a house bowler, and he's up on 3 and 4. Look at Wayne deliver. Look at that. Wayne that is absolutely staying out no of the Did you see that 11 spin coming out? That was pretty good. That, that was a little light over there, Wayne. A little light. Now, if you looked at Wayne's face when he came off the lane, that was kind of the same look that you and I both had on our faces when we got our first piece of ass. It was the same exact look. Ah, uh, the 90s. Who am I kidding? It was like 2007. No, it wasn't. It was 20... It was 2005. I was 22. What? I was married by then. Twice. I, yeah, I... Hold on, look at Wayne. Oh, oh, not quite. That's a little light. Anybody over there care to bowl, or... Harwood's a freaking name, so freaking long to bowl. Oh, Chris Harwood subscribes to the Billy Thomas School of uh, Shenanigans. Oh, and he missed that single by about three feet. Oh, maybe. No, no, no chance. <laughs> no. The, the Magic 8 Ball says uh, not likely. No. My girl's too good. Oh. Try a little bit up there, Wayne. Oh, uh, we have a pin out of reach on lane 17. Somebody want to Yankee the Wanky on 17? Oh. Let's look at Harwood Chris. here on 23. <laughs> Harwood, uh, having not thrown a good ball in about a half an hour now. Let's see what he does. To uh, throw a ball good here. He's taking a sun. Holding a one-handed. Now we'll use his second hand. And the shot puts it. Alright, leaving what? Seven? Yeah, Four? Seven. Four seven? It was on a We can't three. see. The finals will be on 19 and 20, I guess, right? Ah, who knows? Who the hell knows? Who gives a shot? I just own the place, sir. I know. Oh, wait, I still own the place. Technically, yes. Yes, I do. One percent. And thank you for letting me do that. You're welcome. Buddy, right through the middle. Chris, uh, did hit. Well, I believe that's a $10 ball. That was a minus $10 ball there on uh, lane 23. For those that didn't hear, the word was fuck. Right, where's Buddy now leaving the 368? <laughs> is, is that today's word of the day? <laughs> today's, word. today's word is fornicating under carnal knowledge. Brought to you by the 7 8 split. <laughs> Oh, Buddy gave that a run. Fuck is a word you could use as an adjective, an adverb, and a noun. That is correct. Let's use it in a sentence real quick. That fucking fuck. Man. Oh, by the way. Oh, dear. John Antonis just broke nine. And I just broke wind. Ah. You did break, oh, dear, again. <laughs> Do it Mozzarella sticks. Oh, God, I might have, I might have shit myself. This could be the first time in a long time that somebody shat themselves on YouTube. That is true. Oh, you don't know that. I, I, I don't know that, and I'm not going to find out. Buddy's if in it, the sixth frame here. If anybody out here wants to uh, Check. Google search on shitting yourself on YouTube, please let us know. Chris, you love the uh, commentary. You're the only one that's listening to it, though. Um, Steve is not able to bowl tonight, Chris. Sorry. He just said he can't bowl. Over there. I cannot. I would respond to your text, buddy, but you're watching, so what the hell? Oh, Buddy Turner. 
Currently, Buddy has a 72 plus and a 6. When I Facebook Live later, because this isn't on Facebook and it's YouTube with less people, I'm going to Facebook just a screen. Yeah. Right. right? Is that cool with you, Dave? Is that all right? When I do the when we do the finals later on, since it's not on Facebook, I'm just going to Facebook Live the screen. Is that cool? Yeah. Is that, that is a beautiful picture. Yeah. If you want, this bad boy can put it up. Oh. Oh, but what a closer. Oh! This? Yeah. Man, slam now. Yeah, but they won't be able to hear me then. Okay. But thank you, though. It's a good try. I appreciate it. So, All right, Wayne should have had that. That's right. So John D'Antonis has now gotten three marks in a row for the last five. So we'll give him what appears to be an 86 in the six. There you go, Wayne. Wayne making a five pin. As um, Bill Super would say, at a girl. Oh, yeah, Johnny D is laying it down there. We have another one of the owners of the bowling out of here. Three owners in one place. Let's bring the other one over. We're talking about Chetty. So then we can be 33, 33, 33, you and dumb one. Motherfucker. How about that? Who is the other owner? He, he, he forgot that I have a percent still at this place. What if I missed him? Oh, we're just, uh, we're commentating. We're commentating for the uh, live feed. All right, there's Wayne. Oh, we just it. took three out the corner. That's not a, that's a bold strategy. Okay, Wayne, uh, wow. So well, Wayne with a nine count is now seven. What, what are we just doing? Six. Uh, oh, he just took out the right side? He took out the six, nine, ten. Is that all that's going? Uh, he's lucky he got that many pins on that ball, actually. It was not, it was not good. I'm not going to disagree with you. Hey, Dave. Could you get us an uh, update to the other two matches for the people? We are, we are sending Dave down to get updates for the other two matches for you lovely people. Harwood's struggling here. He's got 64 in the sixth. Look, I mean, and not to talk out of school, but Harwood had the best day he's had in several years today get into this point. So I mean I'm happy for him. Yeah. Buddy Turner slamming nine again. And he almost he almost pulled it back. It's the slower ball that's carrying today. That gives him eighty one in the six, which is in a six pin lead over Wayne. But he's gotta make this. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. A, little bit of, a little bit of love on that ball to break nine. No, oh, buddy no, that no, 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 no. He didn't. Once again, you can see his body language. His, he did not like that from the release. His ball moves so much. Wayne's up 30 on Rick, and Phil is up 7 on Mike. Right now, Wayne Madison okay. is uh, maybe ending Rick Long's Cinderella run. He's up 30 pins currently in the seventh frame. Fifth frame. Fifth frame. Oh, dear. Yeah, Laura just asked. Laura, yeah. Uh, and um, Rick's in, down. in the other match, Mike Manns and Phil Dix. Phil Dix is up a slight seven pin edge. Six frame. Six frame. All right. Here Harwood we go. made that single to give him 74 plus in the seventh. Is Buddy going to test book it right here? Crossing nope. over again. Leaving a two pound. I was expecting this strike. Should have been a textbook. John D'Antonis up here counting the shrapnel on the lane. There's a six in the pit there. She's six in the pit? Are you blind? There was six pins laying there. And one standing up. I went to PG County Public School, sir. Math was not our uh, prerequisite for graduating. Is that all? He said the difference between nickel and dime bag, sir. John with the single. John has a commanding. You're welcome, Laura. 105 plus in the 7th to Chris in the 74 right, plus in the 7th. Buddy just pulled a spare there, so uh, Wayne, Wayne's got the opportunity here. Oh. Wayne can bring this all together right now. For the two fans of you that are interested, the WNBA Finals uh, starts now. That's good. For both people? I heard they use a tricolored ball. Kind of like the ABA. Yes. Only without the Duncan. That's correct. Wayne. Hello, Wayne. Oh, cross it wow. over. I was, I was worried he was going to have the house lead. I thought he was going to the middle right there. I was looking at a 2 This ball has so again. much shit on it, it might as well be a pork potty. My ball has a lot of shit on it, too. But that's okay. All right, now Wayne's got 94, the buddy's 91. Oh, 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 God, my ass hurt after looking Living at dangerously with the comb over up there, Hoss. My Lord. Is that is that technically a comb over? 
uh, he has enough hair that it shouldn't be, yeah. but, you know, the point of a dictionary. You can't even describe that haircut. If I went into a barber, it would be one of those when Harry met Sally things. I'll have what he's having. You know, by the way, safety. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, Chris Roth, trying to start calling you Baby Oshawa as you keep this up. Stop that. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, why not? Laura, absolutely. Rick's done great today. No doubt. Chris, who, they don't who, smell, so... Chris, I mean, who gives a shit about LSU? Why the fuck is that even in a goddamn bowling chat? Uh, I, I have LSU. no idea. I think, Chris, I think you're about to be booted. I'm not sure. Go Tigers! And... Ooh! That's not what you wanted to see. Wayne going right through the hole. Oh! Wow, that's uh, giving it the old so Harvey Wayne there. Wayne has 121 in the ninth, but he has 101 and a count going into the ninth frame. So, good count. I'm allowed to mention the WNBA Finals. I'm doing commentary. And you are watching. Place. Nobody cares about LSU. And I'm glad somebody. No. No, no, no. You're he's fine. He's fine. Let's watch. Buddy. Do as I do as I say, not as I do. Buddy needs a strike. That's Buddy a needs mark. a strike to tie it up. He needs a mark. He needs a mark, but a strike ties it up. A strike ties it up plus the count. Right. And, and he threw a good. Oh ball. God. Three than moves. Happens to some of Griffin and those like that since Spaceballs. I was thinking about my cocaine from last night, but okay. Oh, huh, well, the old... Never mind. <laughs> Insert bowler from the 80s. Oh, wow! There have been four of those. That's, that that has been four on that pair. Yes. That just shows how good the bowlers actually are, you know? Yes. We have a record for a pin coming forward there on 24 right now. Speaking of great bowlers, Gary McKenzie in the house. Rubbing his belly like he's pregnant. Gary, boy or girl? Alright, it turns out it's a cheeseburger. Yeah, the, uh, the gender of the baby is a cheeseburger. It's good. Oh, and the Redskins just gave up a touchdown. Sorry. Completely incorrect. I'm sorry, the football team that's licensed to Washington, D.C.? Yes. They were winning, yes. Well, check out the chick with the judge jumping on uh, the Ravens game there in the stands. Oh, I thought you were talking about Colby running up the lane. That's lane. correct. So, gratuitous picks of a large, largely endowed lady at the Ravens game. Oh, now you're going to be politically correct? I just... I mean... We're losing viewers, Chris. we got to do something. We'll get them back. Here comes Buddy with his ball. Oh, nice ball. So pretty ball, pretty Buddy, ball. Uh, Buddy needs the mark, and Wayne needs oh. to do nothing. Yes. Buddy needs the mark, and the count Buddy needs to do nothing. Uh, the winner of this match will play John D'Antonis in the semifinal. The other match will be Wayne Madison versus the winner of Phil Dix and Mike Lance. Randy Farlow, the philosophizer. Some of my favorite bowling memories are going to the bar with Randy after a tournament. Does he remember? He doesn't. Oh, oh no. no. I haven't seen something run like that since I watched the Kenyans in a marathon. Right. Wayne's winning. Wayne's down there being Mr. Long. Yeah, we'll need a score update from... Uh, Sean, do you want to grab us a score update from the other matches? So, yes. Our sideline uh, report. Or is this our uh, score update? Uh, Phil's up 24 going into the 10th frame. Oh, no, so can I get some more Pepsi and extra ice, please? <laughs> what kind of service is that? See, you know, but that's the customer service you come to get at Parkville Lanes. That's what I want you all to see. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm going to play the part of Carmelo. I'd like you to ask me for a Pepsi. Can I have the Pepsi? Fuck you. See? Please. And now he's going to go get it. It's very nice. 
All right, Wayne. What's Rick, up? Um, Rick's down 20, but up a hit going into the night. Really? So he's coming back. Yeah, he went spare strikes fast. I know. Hold on. Hold on. on, Rick. 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 Laura, uh, let a votive candle there. We might have something going on. But Phil's going to have to have a right now. Okay. Right, right now we have John D'Antonis versus Wayne Lipko. Yeah. Phil Dix versus the winner of Wayne Matheson and Rick Long. Rick is making it interesting down here. What's our next set of lanes going to be, you think? 15 and 16? Uh, uh, pull, 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 pull the bracket. Pull 19 and 20, 20, and then when will the, where will the finals be then? 17 and 18. So they're going to move it back? Okay. Because if somebody's already bold on that, they won't move it back there. Then. They're trying to keep it so that way I don't have to move the camera. Okay. God knows we've all bowled in the same lanes at smaller houses. So. I was just asked uh, to watch my mouth by someone on uh, this. Um, no. Who asked you to watch your mouth? Joe Elliott. Joe Elliott can go uh, take a short walk off a long dick. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I, I will politely ask to keep the F-bombs to a minimum. Oh, they'll, they'll keep them to a minimum. That, that's, that, that's, that's where the line is for now. We will keep yes. it to a minimum, we absolutely. Yes, we, we apologize in advance. To anybody's virgin ears out there. All right, what do we got here? Did you just stop recording? Yeah, I just stopped recording so that okay. way I cut up. It's our video is already cut up. I don't have to. Oh, nice. Ah, good. Nice. Okay, that's smart. So when the next game begins, start recording. Mm -hmm. So we're still live right now, right? Yeah. The nice thing about Hobbs, you can record and stream at the same time, and you don't have to worry about trying to pull it back down on whatever you're streaming. Nice. To. That's excellent. Okay. Once again, welcome to Parkville Lanes. We uh, love having you here. Is anybody still watching? Um, um, are they still bowling down there? Or is that over? Yeah, they're still, they're still bowling. Very quiet. Yes. Must be waiting on something. You could almost, you could almost hear a pin drop. You could almost hear a roach crow. Not here at Parkville Lanes. We have uh, Terminex. Yes, you do. They do a great job. There was, there was a bowling alley we were at one time. I don't know if you remember which bowling alley. But they just turned the lanes on, threw a ball down the lane. I'm like, why is the machine leaking oil from the gutter belt? Why is there so much oil from the gutter belt? There's roaches coming out from under the machine. Because we woke them up. We won't say the name of the house. Is it still open? No. Not yet. And? Threw the first one and then throw the ball in the second one. So Ramble 144, All right, so that means that your semifinals are going to be John D'Antonis and Wayne Lipka versus Wayne Matheson and Phil Dix. Hey, Laura, he tried to come back. He tried to come Rick back. Had, yeah. Rick had an amazing yeah. weekend. I mean, Rick to come I believe to this is his first ever pop win, too, I believe. I think this is his first tournament. Yeah, Who would we compare our commentary to? Some would say Chris Schenkel and Bo Burton. Some would also say Stadler and Walter. He's got to pick your one. It might be Miss Piggy and Kermit. All right, it's the semifinals on lanes 11 and 12. Wayne Matheson and Phil Dix. 19 and 20, Wayne Lipka, John D'Antonis. Good luck. So we'll be coming live from the Lipka D'Antonis match. Um, enough to win. <laughs> That was so a decent the, the audio's back here. No, that picks up audio. Oh, it does? Oh, it does. Oh, well, then. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times that I drop the words <laughs> after mother is <laughs> funny. No, no. Great, great fucking bowling, sir. Great bowling. Is this your first round? Nice. Don't have the hat. Did you have a bowling tour before? Did you bowl the men's tour a lot back in the day? Yeah, I was. Like six and a half years, rabbits watch. Twenty four games on Saturday. They didn't start. Oh before. Jesus! Like six yeah, I did. Yes. But then again, you throw one. Twenty four games. Yeah. 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 I might do this again. Yeah. I would hope you would. Come on, next one. I'm on the uh, one o'clock shift. Right. It's over at my place. This place is over. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to go, but it's there's tolls, and I'm cheap. Yeah. Go through yeah. the city. Four dollars worth of. Or take the long way around the Beltway. True. Yeah. That's what I do when I go to Aberdeen. Yeah. It's not that much. It's not that much. No, I was, I was down 52. I know. I, I'll, be, I'll be honest. I wrote you off. We'd already, uh, now, we'd already, we already announced Wayne the winner. Uh -huh. Then we had, to, we had to backtrack a little bit there when you made it close. Hey, Rick, while you're here, say hi to Laura. Oh, hey, Laura. I did say hi to Laura earlier. She okay. said hi back. There you go. Yeah. That's what I told her earlier. I had five friends watching. 
So if you have six viewers, five of them are mine. Uh, excellent. Oh, I'm 35 viewers. Let's go. But now that I'm off, it's going to draw. I'm sorry. Yes. All right. Well, let's watch this match here because we've only got one match to watch. Johnny D just uh, cut in two there. Wayne's got an eight. This is going to be an interesting right, match. Jim. Take Where's care, Rick. And Johnny. Oh. Uh, trying to. Tied it up. One roll. One ball left. See if this will actually work. I don't see why it would. Facebook Live? Well, no, just pointing it at the screen. Yeah, no reason why that won't work. Perfect. I'll tell you again when it's time. Hmm. Well, do you want to do this match? Do you want me to do this match to do the final one? Well, you want to do Facebook Live now? No. I'll I would want to do it now. I'll add this one, you add final. Okay, it's fine. Then we can test and see if it works. Here's Johnny B's second ball. Second frame. He tried. Solid seven. So we have a little inception action going on here. And we're live streaming here from the semifinals of the Pop Wooden Tour here, Wayne Lipker versus John Antonis. We're actually taking a live video of the feed because it's a little bit easier to see than my camera from back here. The other semifinal is Phil Dix and Wayne Madison down on 11 and 12. Yeah, this course, looks terrible. Now that, that looks good. There you go. We're holding each other. That's you. That's not me. That's you. Wayne Lipka. Oh. Good ball. I have no idea. Chris Harwood had a great weekend. Chris, great bowling, sir. Thank you. Oh, Wayne walk left again. He, the seven is his bugaboo pen. Quit walking left, idiot! That advice from Stephen Roman. Apparently Wayne has 18 in the second, John has 20 plus in the second. Hello. Cross it over. Oh, thought we were going to have that. Leave it to him. And look at that two pin. There you go. There you go. The spare by Wayne. Giving him 20 plus in the third. John's going to have a spare in the second. Oh, I don't know about you, but I can't wait to get to Taco Bell. No? All right. I might do a sit-down restaurant for lunch. What's lunch? Here's John. Interesting. What? Kicked out the seventh in the break nine. There's 39 people watching right now. All right. And then 23 on Facebook Live. So we're like 57 people. On the facial page. Here's John going for a spare. John makes it. We're giving him 39 plus in the third. Wayne is a 28 plus in the third. John currently with an 11 pin lead. We're giving him a spare. Missile under the one. Oh, mercy. 
almost left Randy's dental work no, there. No, no, Randy, please, almost. Well, he, that night Randy he doesn't have two that close together. He only has one tooth. Oh, wow! Wow, he tried. He tried very hard. John with his wood, 57 in the fourth. Wayne is at 20 plus in the third. Alright, see what Wayne manages to do here. Wayne is up here on the right lane, lane 20. That's oh, a crusher. That's a crusher. Wayne's been throwing the ball like that all day. As my tender, tender anus can assist. Are you in your mind? Why don't you tell everybody? It's tender? He didn't even spin on it. Gonna be a lucky one. See that pin just jumped over the seven. And there's Wayne. Ooh. Wayne cannot. Let's not have fun with the seven. Seven only with nineteen. We currently have a tie match. Both of them have 57 in the fourth. Uh, Wayne is going to have either a 9 or 10 box here, and then John will bowl his fifth frame on lane 20 in a moment. I've never noticed how light it was at the foul line. Before. Yes, the, the, the credit score at the foul line is great. Alright, Wayne got his 10 bucks out of that. Wayne got his book. 67 to 57. John's about to take his fifth frame. Would it be easier if you did Phil and Wayne's game? I could actually do that, that actually work. Yeah. I am going to scoot over and Facebook Live the other semifinal because I'm bad luck for Wayne shooting the seventh man. Apparently. He hasn't made it all day when I've been with him. He just missed it here again, too. Alright. And then I'll sit here with Dave. Alright, Johnny D. Leaving the seven pin up. I say, I don't have your phone. I'll put it in the other pocket. I'll let Steve come back and take over when they get to the finals. Okay. Whatever you want to do, bro. That's fine. This is your show, not mine. I'm just sitting there. Well, you guys are having too much fun here. Well, yeah, it's a good time. It's always a good time. Johnny D and Johnny D gets it. Well, that's going to give Johnny D an advantage right now. Hey, get some of that oh. shit. Oh, you know what? I should, I should give him the stand. Uh, he'll probably, he'll want to be heard. So, he'll want to hold it. True. We got some of yours, but it was a little bit. But it was hard to see. We got more of your um, of your stuff down there. We didn't get you, but we got your pin action. Just the way they're set up. All right, John D'Antone is waiting for a ball. Maybe, uh, no, it looks like he's waiting for a ball. I don't know. If you were on any of these lanes today, you were you were on at some point. I embarrassed the hell out of myself bowling down here. Down to 22 people watching. But that's okay. We all do that. Okay, we're waiting for balls on 19 and 20. Never mind, one just came out of the chute. And here comes John. John's trying to counter his spare now. 
nice delivery. Boom, pow. Pow. Boom, pow. Boom, pow. How did that not go? Oh, the blue down there? You'd think. Solid 10. goes John for a spare right on, right on that 10 pin. You know, it's funny, even when people block the pins, you can tell from their body length whether they've made it or not. Mm -hmm. All right, Wayne is uh, down 10 pins. A strike would look really sexy for Wayne right now. Oh, he actually, does he only have one this game? Yeah. Well, he's been throwing the ball. You expect three a game. You would think. And John, glad that four didn't kick out. Is Wayne picking up that spare? So it's still going to keep Wayne about 10 points down here right now. Looking at a count, and then we'll see what John does. I understand there's a football contest on TV, yes, too. Yes, there is. I'm not sure why I was watching it, because it's very one-sided. Uh, yes, very much so. And it's not the refs this week. I'm actually surprised. I thought it was going to be a pretty close game. All right, here comes Wayne to count on his spare. And it, you just hear him as he got up there, just yelled no. He knew he let it go the wrong way. But he might have gotten a gift out of this. One, two, seven, ten, that's makeable. Mm -hmm. makeable. Although, trying to swing around a ten pin in this house, those pins like to swing. Right on spot. Nice. Wayne lipped it with a trick shot. How about that? Chuck Quattroche would have been a hell of a first play. He's correct. Eighty-six on a, on a mark here. And John delivers. Uh -oh. There's a strike. Was no doubt about that. I don't the think second I he let that, that go. I turn around, walk back, I already know it's a strike. Don't you wish we could do instant replay? I can kind of do it. Yeah, no need to do it now, but there is a way to do it? Wow. Kind of. Yeah, I could just make this bigger and swap screens. Ah, oh, okay. There's your instant replay. Right there. But I Boom. swap screens and I, the quality on this one is really good. Right. That's all right. All right, here's John trying to count on his strike. <laughs> John always bowls well here. I mean, this is... It's no doubt. Uh-oh. Glad that came back. Did you see, you see how we let that go? He knew he had it all back. <laughs> Here comes one. Yeah, I know, I know this house isn't as high scoring as some of the other houses, but it, it, it played very but consistent throughout. It can be. I mean, an 820 cut, kind of low. It was 820 something. Kind of low. But it wasn't awful, that's for sure. I mean, I, from what we've seen, people have either done great or they've done poor here. It was, it was nothing really interesting. Imagine at this point, people are getting tired. <laughs> you were getting tired up there because you've now bowled six games yesterday. You've come in and bowled five this morning, and then now Wayne's in his, I guess seventh. Wayne and John are in their seventh games because they each had a bye the first time. Yeah. So they're in their seventh game now. I I think the bigger thing that hurt people was when they got into their uh, their first round of the bracket, sitting down for a while. Uh huh. 
we start tightening up and it's all good. I guess we can change that to say finals here, Sam. Yep. All right. All right, Wayne's waiting for a ball. Lane 20 has been eating them up. A lot of lanes were eating them up yesterday. Yeah. And they were falling back down the racks a lot yesterday, too. I don't know if you noticed that. I don't know what it was. I think, I think some people had some illegal balls that brought in or throw in. Could be illegal or just, you know, when balls get refinished, sometimes, unless Wayne does them, because Wayne's perfect, but some people, <laughs> when they refinish balls, they come back as eggs instead of balls. So they try to roll up and they're wah, 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 wah. Standing, you're waiting for your ball, then you get iced. I thought, I thought he cut it enough to come back and get the head pin. But See, my ball wasn't moving at all. I could not get, I had to throw straight on it. Hello. Wow, good try. It was, it was definitely cutting more on the corners than it was in the middle. That's a shame. Wayne 125 in the ninth. John's 126 plus in the eighth. John leaving it now. Interesting. He hit it a he hit it a little, little, light. little light. the dynamic of the game a little bit. We'll see what John does here. All right, John with the 143. Yeah. Okay, so strike spare is going to, uh, will be a closeout. Spare, strike is a closeout. Strike and a, or a spare and a, uh, what, seven count? I think he's just needs seven counts. That's 125 for Wayne. He's got 125, so he. Oh, that's right. He doesn't even need the. Uh, well, because he'd get to 140, 153. I'll do it. That's going to do the that. game. Let's then. stop math. That's, that's, that's it. That's going to do it. 153. So Johnny needs three pins for a closeout. Wow. I hope the mic picked that up. <laughs> All right. It's going to be John D. and Thomas. John, why are you waiting for your ball? You won the fucking... Uh, oh, can't say that word. You won the game. Throw a house ball, John. John and Wayne, still not... Uh, still can do nothing. That's a shame. Nothing. Okay. So, what do you, what's your favorite? If you're gonna, if between John and Wayne, what do you think? To be honest, I didn't watch many, much of their bowling this week, either one of them, but I did see a little bit of Wayne. Wayne was throwing an okay ball. Uh huh. Wayne was, Wayne was on fire when he needed to be. But he definitely was throwing well yesterday. Yeah. At one of the 200 games this tournament. John finishes out with a 163. I'm going to get my Facebook Live. Make that public. That is the strike Wayne's been looking for.
third, fourth place finish for Wayne. He had a he had a really good set today. I think he had I think he had like six eighty to four. He was killing it. I don't know what he finished with. Something, isn't it? Yeah, it was. He had two one ninety two. Where did I get two fucking four? Look at that. You haven't always looked like that. No. <laughs> Anyway, Wayne finishes with a 139 to John's 163. All right, what's happening down there? Uh, I'm pretty sure Wayne's way up, but I can't check it. I'm gonna quickly get this set up for the finals. All right, while we're waiting to figure out who's going to be in the finals. I'm fancy, I like it sour. You did what? I'm fancy, I like it sour. That's alright. Alright, so hit start recording whenever we start. Okay, I haven't started this yet, so I'm still live here. Though. I'll check and see what the score is over there, though. Alrighty. Speed up one more way, now go another way. Remember what he signed up for. Did Wayne win? Yeah. Okay. Still mean it's a double in the ten. All right. Well, we'll see. All right. Our finals on seventeen, eighteen. Dean Thomas and Matheson. Good luck, guys. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the live Facebook stream. We are also on YouTube on uh, David Hughes' page. If you want to watch it on YouTube, it's at DuckPins, the number four ever. Or we got it right here. We're going to be taking a video of the uh, actual screen. Okay. So it'll look a little weird, but darn it, we're here. All right. Um, so John D'Antonis beat William Lipka 163 to 139. And... Um, Phil Dix was beaten by Wayne Mathis in 132-113. One, 132-113. All right, Johnny's getting here, and he's uh, starting his practice balls on um, lane 17 and 18. And again, if you want to watch this on YouTube, you can. David's page is at DuckPins, number four ever, E-V-E-R, okay? Uh, or just stay here, enjoy the action. Uh, we'll be talking to you on both pages. Steve Rowley will be coming back down. We'll be uh, getting back in on the action. Yep. Not a bad day here if you look around the uh, room. Let's see, there's uh, Tommy Osborne there. He had a good day. Um, well, there's Colby, Chuck, Randy Farlow, Sean, Bill Bright. There's uh, Rolly here. And some other folks. We're back to the action here. That's the live, what's happening. And then we're going to show you uh, the screen down here as to what's going on. Hey, Stevie. Get him to come back here. All right, we are starting up, folks. Here we go. Lane 17 and 18. Wayne Matheson with the first pitch. Still making it. 17. And Wayne, uh, we're going to have some wood out of reach now. Not quite. Leaving the 1 4. Had some great bowling today all around. Uh, I guess Colton House Bowler, Rick Long, not doing too bad today. He uh, made it to the I mean, round if it, of. If um, she was on the team, then yes. Round of eight. So I'd have to like yeah, set which it up. Which is a great day. I'll have to set that up. All right, there's Wayne. Wayne's making his spare. Oh, all right. So Wayne starts off with a spare on lane 17. Again, we're on YouTube at Duckpins, the number four, E V E R. Duckpins Forever. If you want to check that out, or you stay right here on Facebook, we'll be. Happy to bring it to you. Not as happy as the end there. So that is true. Well, we're not at friendlies. So, all right, here's Johnny B on lane 18. All right, one, three, four, six, seven, nine. Very makeable, though. Absolutely makeable. Oh, there you like go. Like I said, absolutely man. Hey, Colby. It's Colby. Johnny D. Colby. Right, we're going to bring his son Colby over here to take a little uh, bit of the action. 
Colby is going to be uh, between us, actually. Get in here in the middle, baby. Is that what you call it? Yeah. All right, John D'Antonis is getting up at 17, by the way, guys. Uh, we've got young Colby D'Antonis here. Yes, we He's do. He's going to be yeah. commenting. Oh, shit. Colby is the meat in the uh, sandwich. Oh, uh, damn oh, it. Johnny putting it through the middle on his spare. Getting how, can, how can we talk on this? It's already on. It's on. You're uh, just talking. Right. This is going on YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, I'm on Facebook. That's on YouTube. We're all here together. Oh, sweet. Uh-huh. And then John, hello. Oh, come oh. on. He's trying to do that. Now, that's the fifth one we've almost seen. Man. That guy does today. have a nose for bowling. Oh, dear. He does. He does. How does he keep that gator up when he wears it? Somehow, some way, shit happens. That is true. All right, John missing that. Three pen there. You know what this is like? This is like being in bed with my girlfriend and the dog and being pushed off. This is what it's like. I wish you didn't laugh. I mean, yeah, but it's with a dog. <laughs> <laughs> we just got Shrek walked by, some, a.k.a. Gary McKenzie. Oh, was. Some people be extra for that. Wayne Matheson going for uh, counter his spare. Oh, 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 dear. My, oh, oh my, oh my, oh my. Fibbity fobbity foo. Oh, there's still a seven over there. I didn't see that. He was in the way. All right, so we're getting a uh, eight count on a spare. I got to tell you, ain't the worst thing we've seen today. I'm giving him a six point lead after two. Wayne says, yes, I'll take a pin. Colby, yes. you actually feel pretty confident in this match. I know in the past he's struggled against bowlers under five foot tall. That is Wayne is true. standing a very robust 5'8". That is very true. It's a bold strategy you got to see if it goes all for him. Facial, Lafleur, facial. Alrighty, so Wayne with 28 in the second, John with 22. That's your score, 28 to 22, folks. Alright. Back to the back door action here. Lane hey, 17. Jesus just walked by, Tommy Osborne. He, oh. lost, he lost to somebody. That's Jesus. We call that the back door cover. Oh. You used to have to pay extra for in Canada. Yeah, but you get to pay with loonies. The exchange rate's so much better. So it's fine. All right, Wayne Matheson. This is Randolph on. Farlow. You want to say something? Frame number three. Wayne says, let's leave a break. That's the one three nine. And he delivers. And, and wow. No one needed to I didn't it. hear any noise. Did you hear any noise? I didn't hear any noise. I heard the uh, sound of silence. That ball did not work. Simon and Garfunkel time. on the jukebox. Let's see if we can do this for a ten box. So oh, there's, that might uh, have it's it. just like that a normal that Saturday that night, holding wood. That's it. Less, less right. uh, happy and or sad mm -hmm. tissues for that one, though. Yeah. I prefer to use the Kleenex with uh, lotion. I'm, I'm, I'm old school, all about the tube socks. I was thinking more construction paper for you. John delivers at 18. I'm not jerking off in Mike Stoner Jr.'s hands. Yes, Jesus. you will if I ask you to. Jeez. All right, John, uh, this, this is getting to be an interesting match here. This is the first one to 100 wins. Basically, yeah. Popping out the 3-9. The one five eight. Sex. Okay. Great ball this weekend, sir. Both, both people on this, on this lane, I don't even know. Neither do I. Hello, and... Oh. Okay, now that's something you don't see that a lot. I love your dad dearly. You know that much. you don't see a lot of six boxes. Four more balls, and he's but we don't. It's 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 been an odd. Alrighty, so uh, after three, 38 to twenty-eight for Wayne. John up there on the fourth. Very to very high scoring back. game. You know what? But I, I, I this, is, this is the time that your dad pulls out a double. Or kind of pulls out a double, but one of them's gonna pull one out. Watch this. Right down their ass. Oh, oh yeah, it went, told you. it went mean, to Randy Farlow. Look, your dad made an adjustment, went quickly, and boom. There you go. Ah, that's shit. Would you like to get above my box? No? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a different game. <laughs> no, Did you hear him? No, so would you like to get above my box? <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, God, got Danielle, yeah, and, got Danielle in treat now. That's it. Even your mom turned around for that one. Jesus. All right, here's Wayne. Wayne says, 
Judas Priest. You didn't say that. Judas Priest. I, I said that actually. Um, all right, three nine on that one. This is a. Uh, this is an eternity. It is. It is the race to one hundred. It seems like some buck holes can come from this game. We might need some bike helmets. Somebody shit. They're shitting diamonds out here. Wow. Or maybe they fell in mud. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a t-shirt that says shitting diamonds. I'm going to get a t-shirt said that I fell in mud in Rhode Island. Now we're in Connecticut, dumbass. What? Well, doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, there's a 10 box out of Wayne. I'll give you some mud. You know what, John? John, there's a spare where it's coming up. I mean, for the box, at least. Well, we have our three-man booth going on right here. It's, uh, Colby Dantonis is in the middle here uh, going skiing. Yes, I am. Is that what you want to call it? Should we <laughs> downhill on, skiing, on. ladies and gentlemen? Here, here, Stephen, you want to ski? There we go. All right, now back to the action. All right. Your son was corrupted long before I came along, honey. <laughs> came, he, oh, he came did all right. right. Came did. That's in New Jersey, isn't it? Came did New Jersey. <laughs> oh, good oh, ball. Look at oh me. nice ball. All right. Pretty ball. Pretty Queen ball. leaving the. Uh, Whatever the hell that is. That's <laughs> the <laughs> six as, as a proprietor, have, you should know that. I have that. Had nothing to drink either. That's the worst part. Normally you start hanging out with Chris Roth, you get flagged by the FBI. <laughs> Look, you register for Megan's Law one time. Hold on, we need 18. Oh, 18. 18. 18. There Chris you go. Rogers, you are first. The only proprietor owner in the Baltimore area that has to go door to door when he moves to a new neighborhood. That's not true. Hey, you bowling on Mondays? Oh, wait, you're still not allowed in AMF. You know, somebody asked me to sub tonight at AMF, <laughs> and I told them that, you know. All right, look at Johnny. Do it again. Oh, go. Oh. But who, oh. Did, but who didn't know that? I mean, he made his adjustment. His adjustment was bowl better. <laughs> You wouldn't know. <laughs> Please tell me that's on the duck bin. God, I yes, it. it should be. Let's go, people. That's good. All right. Johnny D, get me in. Yes, a single. Right in the face, nice. just like last night. Let's go. Right now, Johnny D with 58 plus in the fifth. And we have 58 plus in the fifth. We have a dead even match, even hit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we've been waiting for. We have a barn burner. Is that what your kids call it? Kids? I'm old enough to have kids. You might have some kids. You just don't know about it. Yet. I'm pretty sure my little swimmers are more Mike Tyson than Mike Phillips, so probably not. Here comes John <laughs> Dean Tonis of League 17. No! Oh, come on! Me. <laughs> Maybe later. Taking out two singles in the middle. Oh. All right, for FOMO. Get that Wendy's foe for foe. This sort of thing. I go for some nuggets. Go for some Wendy's. Nuts I miss the Wendy's Super Bar. Do you like Wendy's? Wendy's nuts are on your face. Exactly. Four. All right, well, nine. Well, Rad, are you in the dragons? All right, let's look at a score update here, guys. Uh, what we're looking at is 61 for Johnny D. Or 69, right, for John. Yeah, 69, good number. Giggity. And Wayne is there. on a spare here. Wayne has 50 plus. So, if my, if my uh, calculations are correct. Look at Wayne. Oh, Wayne. Wow. Whew. Talk to the best, best bottom in here. Little hand grenade pitch. Toss it and let them scatter. How do you like your salad? Tossed. With a little bit of vinaigrette. Give me some jelly or syrup. I prefer syrup. Here we go. It's on the grill. Scattered, smothered, and covered right there. Smothered and covered. Like my waffle oh. house hash browns. Morning. Morning, Wood. Oh. I know what foes it's seven, I Wayne has 77 in the sixth. John has 69, so Wayne has up eight and the count. Eight. Brought to you by Colby D'Antonis, and gets to you twice. Da, 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 I might have to get you three times. Is it cold Better than me having to get you eight times. <laughs> Alright, here's Wayne. Wayne Somehow shooting the stand on lane 17. 
Oh, oh holy crap, Ola. You just left Randy's <laughs> mouth guard up here in the uh, 17. Randy's mouth guard. No, Randy, has Randy, Randy. actually uh, got a different Randy? <laughs> Randy has one full tooth. Ladies and gentlemen, our... the great Jason Mulliken just walked by. So Randy does have one good tooth and then a row of half teeth. That's like Randy's a visit line up there. It, it looks like <laughs> somebody face fucked the jack. Basically, <laughs> yes. Wow. That's pretty good. All right, Wayne tried on that. Uh, it is that time, of, time. It's that time of the year. It's it is, season. Everybody is here waiting on bated breath. Whoops a doodle up, 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 up. All right, so Wayne's got a 93. It's time for a Johnny Antonis double. When in trouble, throw the big double. Eat double, Nick Lloyd style. Let's go. There it is. Oh, no. no, no. Oh, no. Oh! Wow! Wow! John D'Antoni is showing everybody how to make the wow. 5-6. He's in his Halloween spirit. Look at his jack-o'-lantern shirt. I'll leave it at Mount Ariel Monday. But his jack-off shirt. I mean jack -off That is shirt. why we love our dick, uh, duck pants. Yes, yeah, that's great. We, we do, in fact, love our dick pants. That frame got better in a hurry. Wow. That was... Glad we got that on tape. Yes. Yes. All right, John. We need the slow motion replay of that. Ooh, what a mess of John's looking like for a big sitting up above here, the, or at least a full uh, count. thing and doing video of the deck. Oh, oh. If it works once, why not again? Why not? Hold on. Hold on, oh, tickets. No. Oh. John with two. Hold it. For Hold it. No. single pin here. John needs this five pin. Yes, sir. Mm, look at the muscles. Came the rest of the way up the lane. You get to take it home. You didn't know that, did you? Yeah, it just One of the best parts about being here. It just came to It come to Alright, Johnny's now uh, 89. He is 99 plus in the eighth while Wayne has 93. Wayne's 89 and 93. Yes. So it's four pin game minus a pin. Unless Wayne gets a hit here. Yeah. No. Oh. I saw the seven or the the eighteen for a second. I'm glad I that fell saw down. the sign. It opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Why are we all doing Ace of Base records here? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I think we can all agree on one thing. It's a close-ass game. Oh, yeah. yeah, fair enough, yes. Yeah. All right, Wayne's going for this 10 pin today. And he gets it. He gets it. Four-pin match it. going hey. to the ninth. Four-pin game. We're all on counts here, babe. All on counts. Sudden death dodgeball. I mean, we haven't seen anything like this since the Helsinki incident of 1919. We all know how that went. <laughs> yeah. Sixty-nine. I've to the Great Wall of China. I've seen I the grown very... man satisfy a camel. <laughs> All right, here comes Wayne. Wayne needs this counter. No. Oh, little hey, late. Leaves the side bucket. Even if, if my father strikes. I Wayne. Wayne shot no, this earlier today and took out the I said father. Fair enough. Took out everything but the six earlier when he shot this earlier today. My father was a tree. My father was a rolling stone. Hello? Oh, I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that. Who are you? I'm afraid of you. You should be. Okay. In bed. All the time. This is 117. We really need. John gets a strike here. John this is going to put a lot of lot of penetration on the uh, old pooter hole. You can put a lot of emotion behind this ball. Even though it has worked the last two times, I would not go back to the well. I'll try to throw you a good ball. Yeah, I would, I would try and just get them all off the deck at once. Like that. Oh, yeah. Ah, gotcha! Just like that. Throwing an absolute piss missile. That was.
was a pretty bad. Right, 89, 99, Definitely 109. Two. So we're up. Three months pregnant, baby belly behind the wall. We, we go in We go in You know, there's still a sizzler open down in uh, Puerto Rico. Really? There is. I read that the other day. Mm -hmm. Surprise. to go there. Yeah, I'm right. Let's make a. Let's go get our passports and let's go. Let's get um, the Rican you know, passport Puerto Rico. That's shit. America, buddy. Yeah. yeah I thought America. it was South America. Uh, that's cool to be any Rico. Frame ten for John. Oh, okay. Oh, now second straight time we've we seen this show before. Venage oh, oh, oh. Trois Pete. Got to pay double for that. This what would you do with a million dollars? We need some of this to force a double. Oh. And it needed more than that. Oh, um, uh, this might be a long drive right into the cold again. I'm, there's a good chance I do not make it home. Hopefully we don't go over the bridge on the way home. Yeah, all right, well, that's getting some wood, though. Up and toss you off so, me. you're, um, miss. what we're looking for here is a... Wayne needs a mark, mark and nine to win. Mark and eight to time, mark and nine to win. Folks, this is duck things. This is what, this is what it comes down to. Colby, you're fully out right now, aren't you? I am full chub right now. I am pitching a tent so. over here, Chris. Right, Wayne Mathis. Most important ball of the day for him is right here. Oh, Judas Priest. Wolf. No love off the side. He's got a slide the zigzag up there in the town. But the you way this ball works, you I might get Caesar's pizza taking, now. I could see him taking the six pin off the wall. Wayne has made this once today. Back. He has made it once today. He can do it again. Oh! oh. Your winner is John Dantonis. How many John. stars is this for Danny? That's 11. That's number 10. No, that's 11. Oh, you need the no, surface? Actually. Is it 10 stars? It might be 10. I don't know. I, yeah. I can't count. It looks like 10 stars. Right. Johnny did. Alright, there you go. Our total in the score. Wayne Mathison, 125. John Dantonis, 135. That's a heck of a match, folks. From Parkville, we say goodbye. We'll see you next month at uh, Glen Burning Bowl. Deuces, people. Thank you so see much. See y'all. Y'all want to say anything? Y'all want to say goodbye real quick? Again? See y'all. Bye. I'm horny. I know you are. Bye. Bye. And uh, I'll let you do your yeah, thing. Yeah, I'll shut down the stream now. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Thanks for the commentary. It was, it was fun. Thanks for everyone showing up on the stream. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out, and I'll see you all around next time, be that either at Green Mount or Glen Burnie. I might make it to Green Mount at the end of the month, but uh, I'll see you all around. Peace out.